yo, hello, hello. Oh my goodness, are the gamers here? Are the pissers in the chat? Oh my goodness, Dorian, thank you for converting your prime to a tier one. Hello. Oh my god, you know the drill, drop an emote in the chat so I can say hi. All the newbies, all the peoples, hello, hello. Soren, thank you for the tier two 10 month resub. I have a, y'all, I don't know if y'all can see him, but I got a boy. I got a boy here. I was taking selfies and petting my boy. Don't mind me, I, this is my heating pad. Okay, I got my period, I'm cramping real fucking bad, so I got a nice little, little pouch going. To keep me in check. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Joker, hello. Hello, Deadpool. Hello, Ken. Hello, Mango. Hello, Ultimate Kane. Hello, Italic Pizza. Hello, Kiko. Hello, L. Dorian, I hope you're well. Hello, Davis. Cord. Hello. Cosmos, you did. Not coming in at the last second now. Hello, Kermit and Viking. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, my goodness. How's everybody tonight? Hello, Enigma. Hello, hi Griffin. Hi Alec. It's good to see you as always. Jacko, hello. I won't be able to stream because I have a Criterion Prog with the gang. No worries, L. I hope you I hope you get your dubs. Vin, how are you? And Doggy, welcome to the chat. Hello, hello, hello. And dissatisfied, hello. And Mr. Gra Gra Gravitas? Hello, thank you for the prime sub. Goodbye, Waldo. <laughs> and Swain Bell, I'm good. Hello, Dream Doping. Yer, what's up? Hello, hello, Edgel. Ed is it pronounced Edgel? Hello, hello. What's your shirt say? It says cigarettes after sex. It's one of my favorite bands. Ultimate Kane? Ultimate Kane? That's your first time gifting subs to the community. And thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you to everybody who got gifted a sub. Welcome to the coming of your bedroom once and your stay. Thank you so heckin' much. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Starting off the stream with a fucking banger. Watch your back dentist. Hey yo, are, is someone gonna is someone gonna beat it? Can someone beat Irish or Soren? I don't know. We got some competition now. <laughs> Axel, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy your gifted sub. I saw cigarettes after sex a few years ago. They were great. Yeah, they're fucking fantastic. I love cigarettes after sex. I love cigs after sex. I saw them twice. I saw them last year with my old best friend, and then this year with Isaac. So good. Good shit. So romantic, you know? I know, Waldo heard me yelling, he's like, alright, I'm done here. Yo, spicy goat cheese, it's nice to see ya. Hello, hello. Y'all, like I said, I got my period and it's pretty bad. I was like kind of bedridden today, honestly. Like, I couldn't walk, I couldn't get out of bed. Um, it was awful, but I'm feeling a lot better. I've been taking a ton of Advil. Um, and now the cramps have kind of died down, but I have a migraine now, so <laughs> I can't win. But, you know, we're still gonna play MSQ. We're still gonna play Final Fantasy XIV. I'm not giving up on that, okay? Uh, and thank you, by the way, everybody for checking in on me yesterday. Hello, Urban Serpent. Hello, hello, hello. There's more overlap between Twitch stream and an auctioneer than I would've thought. Oh my God, I talked really, really quickly. I know some people are always like impressed by how quickly I can like get things out of my mouth, which like is kind of a weird sentence, but whatever. Yeah, no. Uh, I should be an auctioneer, actually. Actually, but the, the speed at which the words come out of my mouth, I may as well. Uh, thank you for the hydration. Um, but yeah, thank you, by the way, everybody uh, who was checking in on me yesterday. I really, really appreciate it. I promise I'm okay. I'm fine. Like, we're not going to dwell on it. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling great. And that's what fucking matters, baby. So, I wanted to... I'm going to steal this from Ponto. Actually, I saw a lot of people on uh, Twitter talking about this, but we're going to say I'm stealing it from Ponto because we love Ponto in this household. Um, I've been told that a lot of people really like it when you have like those channel points that say like, hi, I'm new here or whatever. Cause it like, it gets rid of the anxiety of someone having to actually say hi themselves. Would y'all want that in the chat as like a, like, a um, like a channel point reward thing. So like for the new people to be like, hi, I'm new here. Would y'all like that? I think it could be cute. I'm Quebecois and Ancestry, speaking fast is my default. Oh, disgusting. French Canadian. That sounds nice, right? I feel like, I feel like it would, it would be, it would be nice for the lurkers, right? Crew, hi crew. 
And to be honest, best part of my transition trans transition was eating the uterus. Oh, lucky. Bless you. More channel points would be nice. What kind of channel points do you want to see? Like, I don't really know what to add. I do have a dick headband that we were going to use every time I hit a sub goal. Hi, Andy. Um, but I have yet to bust it out. I don't know if I'll get banned for it, but they're just fuzzy little guys. Actually, they look kind of cute. Oh, I, I look kind of cute with them. Do you guys like the dicks? It's kind of a look. Wait. Maybe it's just a headband. I don't know. Oh, soundboard options. We have um the bit soundboard thing mabop going on, but I but if we if I can hook up sound cues or whatever to channel points, that would be lit. I would love to have that hooked up. The Richards, oh my God, the Richards. I'm a lewd Vieira, stop. You got me there. You got me there. All right, Emmy, I'm tossing your hat Ooh, into the corner. I actually need to uh, move some stuff around. Let me move my haritos. Um, I also want to make some hot cocoa. Does anyone here want some hot chocolate? Tour, true, edge, edgel, edgel. It's, I'm saying that correct, right? <coughs> Winky face on Twitter brought me here. The TTS go off? I have no idea. Angel, thank you for the for the, 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 the thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Welcome to the coverage of your vegetables and your stay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Adrian! Hello, thank you for the 14 months. Hello! Winky face on Twitter brought me here. It, the cute photos, right? The cute. I'm cute. Mine with almond milk, please. Bet. I got you. Can I get peppermint in mine? Yes, I can get you a peppermint hot cocoa. Don't worry. Such cute little stuffed animals on the headband. I know, right? Do you think I'd get banned for this? Can I get banned? Piss and hot chalky? We're spoiled. Yo, for all of you who want like... Okay, wait. Actually, no. Let me rephrase this because now I have a more important question. While I leave to go make my hot chocolate, do you... Okay, and, and Poison, this is for your raiders as well. Hello, beautifuls. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, raiders. I'm Sarah. I am a Final Fantasy 14 streamer. Welcome to my humble abode. This is where the magic happens. Poison, I love you. You're so sexy. And I'm sure you look sexy as fuck today on stream. I did not get to lurk. You were not my podcast today because I was crying in bed with period pain. So I hope you're thriving. I hope you're doing great today. But yeah, hello friends, get comfy. I'm about to go make some hot chocolate with my little dick headband. Um, but I have a question for y'all. When you make your hot chocolate, what do you prefer? Do you prefer milk or water? Doesn't matter what kind of milk. It could be oat milk, cow boo boo milk, whatever it is. What do you prefer with in, in your in your cocoa? Answer that. While well, I go make my cocoa. Hello, hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, I am not okay. <laughs> Toad just hit a banana meal. <laughs> milk, mix it into a cream. Mix it into a cream. Okay, so it looks like a lot of you use milk. Okay, see, look, I, I am 100% a milker. 
I use milk. <laughs> when I, mm, I, I use milk in my tea and my coffee and my hot chocolate, but because I have a Keurig, um, I, <laughs> I, oh, what the fuck is this? No, 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 listen, listen. It's a milk or be milked world. Exactly. See, poison gets it. But um, because I have my Keurig, it just makes my hot cocoa with water. And honestly, it's not even that bad. Sometimes I'll like pour a little bit of milk in there to like make it a little bit more like thick. If you use cream, you're OP. If you use cream, you're better than most of us, okay? <laughs> Dipped in calamity, I like your name. But yes, welcome, hello friends. Oh my goodness, hello. I hope you had a great stream. Poison, what'd you get up to? What were y'all doing? Were y'all having a fun night? Having a fun evening? What's new? What's popping? I use milk because I make the chalky the old fashioned way. Like you stir it in. Like what, do you, what is Italian style? What does that mean? Do you go find a cow, milk the cow? Just never stop talking for too long. Good, that's how I like it. That's exactly how I like it. Coffee creamer of any sort is the best for hot chalky. You know what? Downstairs, like they ha there's this little shop and they sell a bunch of different like like flavored creamers. Oh my God, there's a Bailey's. I should put, oh chat. Oh chat. Do I put some Bailey's in my hot cocoa for MSQ? Do we spice it up? Why am I still wearing the dicks? <laughs> Do it. This, this is a recipe for disaster. This is actually a recipe for disaster. But you know what? Eggnog, okay. Eggnog is disgusting. I don't trust anybody that actually enjoys eggnog. <laughs> That's also fair. <laughs> I Thank you. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? That's what I'm saying, little introvert. That's what I'm saying. Eggnog is the best, really? Okay, then buy, damn. Okay, most, okay. Do a lot of you like eggnog then? Am I the odd one out? Am I the weird one? Eggnog yuck, thank you, Elle. Thank you, I knew you'd have my back. I appreciate you. Inconceivable. <laughs> I am here for the eggnog slander. We support eggnog slander in this household. Thank you for the 500 bitties, Mango. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't drink eggnog, so I'm with you. Beauty. Eggnog is okay, but it isn't having an aversion to it. It's got a lot going on. You know what? It's funny that you say that. Eggnog does have a lot going on. I feel like I can't just drink eggnog. Do you know what I mean? You can't just be like, mm, I'm craving a glass of eggnog today. Like, it has to be like, part of like some kind of ensemble, you know? Like who just wakes up? Mmm, I think I'm going to go to the store and get some eggnog. Like, <laughs> eggnog with a touch of nutmeg. Ooh, spring a little bit. Okay, you know what? Now we're cooking. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just got into cigarettes after sex a couple of weeks ago. The only song I can remember right now is K. Apocalypse. Apocalypse is a fucking banger. Pistol, their new one, also pretty good. Also pretty good. And nothing's gonna hurt you, baby. Fire. Fire. I love cigarettes after sex. Great fucking band. Fantastic band. All right. Let me grab me hot cocoa and I'll put some Baileys in it. Or Kahlua. Or both. And uh, yeah, it goes home full of meat and potatoes. I love to see it. Love that for you. Love that for you. Apocalypse is the only song of theirs that I've heard. It's such a moody banger. It is. Um, I actually highly recommend listening to Cigarettes After Sex. Like, just go on Spotify if you use Spotify and um, get uh, pull up the This Is Cigarettes After Sex playlist and just listen to to everything they have to offer. Their music is fantastic. I love listening to them on a rainy day, when I'm having sex, when I'm going for a walk, when I'm washing my ass, when I'm cleaning, when I'm crying, when I'm happy. Like, they're just so moody, but like also feel good. Oh, it's a band. Yes, Cigarettes After Sex is a band. And I guess a lifestyle for some people, but let me grab my hot cocoa. With my little pouch. Like, this is so funny. 
It's a seal, by the way. I just have a seal in me. <laughs> Resub. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, after size quality ass watching music raves from page to streamer series spooks. <laughs> so this is fairly chaotic, more or less wholesome, but has the same kind of vibe as vibes as poisons. At, vibes at poisons. Thank you. Thank you. That is an honor. She is a delight. And to be compared to such a queen. You know how, like, the Grinch's heart, like, grows three sizes? I feel like that just happened to me. My heart just grew. That's very difficult. <laughs> My heart's itty-bitty. Huge on the inside, but, like, it's got a small exterior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my stream... If I had to describe my stream in, like, one sentence, it would be horny and confused. Like, you know how there's, like, scared and confused? Horny and confused is ours. Very, very horny and confused. Thank you for poisoning me, by the way. Does anyone have a poison um, heal? An antidote? Or a full heal? Or some, what is it, energy powder? Forgot what else they have in Pokemon. I need a little bit of healing. I'm already sick. Can't knock me down. So your stream is me on a daily basis for $100? Bro, I, can, I got a seal. Do you want a fucking seal? I ain't giving you shit! <laughs> Full restore, that's another one, yes. And we even have a soft heal? What the fuck, Jacko? Yo, we're screwed. But you know what? It's okay. We die with honor because it's Poison's community that has killed us. Asuna, oh my god, can someone use Asuna on me, please? Oh my god, we were in a, I was doing my daily today with a friend. And we were in a dungeon and we had, okay, it was a city of Ampador, lost city of Ampador. And we had like, I think three stacks of poison damage on all of us each. Okay. Like we were racking up the poison and I looked at the healer and I went, do you have a Suna? Hello? Can you please do something about this? I love your energy, thank you. Horny and confused, isn't that just gay panic? Yes. Actually, yes. Yes. Yay. Yay. <laughs> thank you for three months Reese of Heart, thank you. It was Phoenix, Nightshade, Buddy Boy, Extraordinary, yes. The one, the only, the Phoenix. Okay. Allie! Hi, Allie! Hi, Sarah and chat less than three. Hello, Allie, welcome back. Thank you for the four month Reese I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For my friend Emily's husband looked at the auctioneer that was auctioning Python and said his wife must love what he could do with his mouth. Oh my god. What? This is so random. This is the second time someone has mentioned auction mentioned an auctioneer in this chat. People are so, like, I talk very, very quickly. And like a lot of the time when people come into my chat, they're like, oh my god, you talk so fast. Are you an auctioneer? It's like, no, I'm not. I don't know how I do this. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's anxiety? Unmedicated anxiety, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I remember trying to assume some idiot who kept standing in stupid. I was casting on cooldown and he still had seven stacks at one point. Oh man, that's frustrating. Hi, humble elves. I just had my, I thought I just had my stream on 1.5 times speed, honestly. Me from the East Coast thinking this is normal speed. I, okay, yeah, maybe it is an East Coast thing because we do speak pretty quickly. We do, blah, 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 blah. like, I don't know why, but that's just, that's just us. That's just how we speak. My anxiety doesn't do that. It just keeps me in a perpetual state of wanting to nap. Okay, see, my anxiety doesn't make me want to nap. My anxiety makes me want to sleep. It makes me want to eat myself into a depressive sleep. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like a forced hibernation. My anxiety gets me going... Like, I'm buzzing. Whether it's in a good way or a bad way. I'm just zooming. Who need their Leviosi 8? Oh yes, before we start MSQ tonight, we're gonna do the Leviathan trial because Teddy needs to get that done. And I'm such a good person and I offer to help. <laughs> Having AUD, oh, like autistic ADHD? That's how fast my brain runs all the time. Relatable, fucking relatable. I do not have enough funds to get an official um, autistic diagnosis, but me and my therapist have sat together and it's like, okay, honey, 
BPD, OCD, autism, ADHD, and anxiety. Like, okay, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, I, mm. it's really weird how the brain functions, you know? I know, it's bad. My anxiety has gotten a ton better though. I've gotten that in check. It used to be very, very bad when I was younger. We've kind of coined that a lot of my anxiety stress actually stems from the OCD, so. I know I'm the full fucking alphabet, bro. Oh, Vlad, hello. I know we're almost at 700. Oh my God, dentist! Dentist! Dentist, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Everything I got gifted us up. Welcome to the Covenant with your Badger votes and your stay. Thank you. Now we're at 701. I'm gonna pee pee poo poo. I'm gonna pee pee poo poo. All right, now we gotta hit the angel number, 777. Dentist, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Holy shit, we starting off the stream. Bonkers. Bonka baloos. Rat! Hello, rat. <laughs> Let's get some hype in the chat for dentist. Thank you. Polaris, hello. Dash, catch them the way you got them all. Let's go. <laughs> I don't understand how some people's brains just work, like coming out of the womb, I know. I, okay, I have this one friend who keeps telling me that he's neurotypical. I have never met a more like autistic coded person in my entire life. Like, I wish I was that delusional. I wish I could walk around and be like, I'm sane. There's nothing wrong with me. I am completely normal and nothing phases me. Also, where's chat? Where are y'all? There we go, I fixed it, I think. Like, I wish I was like that. My therapist said I have 84K. My anxiety makes me want to either crisis in the corner feeling uh, like I'm melting wax or run a marathon trying to save my soul as if it was being eaten by the void of people pleasing. Oh my fucking God. Do not get me started on people pleasing. Also, Starboy, hello. My shirt, I think I got this from. I actually don't know where I got this from. It's very, very old. <laughs> I have no idea where I got this from. Um, I saw this like tweet on on Twitter and a tweet on Twitter. Where the fuck else am I gonna see the tweet? In a tree? Tweet, tweet, bitch. Anyway, um, so I saw this tweet and it was someone saying like, saying you're a people pleaser is the new I'm an empath. And that like really frustrated me because those are two different things. Edgy, thank you for the seven gifted subs. Everything I can gifted a sub. Welcome to the Covenant of your Badger Modes and your stay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all are killing it. And those are four. Your first. That was. Those. That was, that was your first time gifting subs. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get some hype in the chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, but yeah, it, it was like really frustrating because no one goes to a therapist and learns, oh, you're an empath. Oh, well, I guess I'm an empath. It's like, no, you have a lot of trauma and that's why you people please. Like, it's, I, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like to compare people saying I'm a people pleaser to people saying I'm an empath, I, I feel like, I feel like it's kind of disrespectful. Because if someone said I'm an empath, that's like, yeah, roll your eyes, like whatever, right? Like they are, they're not, whatever, just their actions will tell. But people pleasing does not mean like, oh, I'm so nice, it means, you are like so traumatized that you are scared to fucking say no to somebody and you don't want to disappoint people because you're going to get yelled at or something bad is going to happen. That is what people pleasing is. Like to compare those two things, I think is so shitty. It's like when people say, I'm such a nice person. Like, okay, like, cool, great. But it's like, I'm a people pleaser. Like that's two, two different things. Those are two, 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 two different things. You know, my therapist told me I'm a people pleaser and I fucking am. And I will shout that to the, like, to the fucking top of the moon. I'm a people pleaser and I'm working on it. I finally, I'm finally learning how to put my, my foot down and it's been really great. It's been scary, but it's been great. I just, oh my God, people on the internet are just so miserable. They're just so miserable. I mean, I'm miserable too, but still. I think just like existing on the internet is so scary these days because I will open Twitter and then feel bad about being myself. Do you know what I mean? Because people feed into that, like those like negative perspectives and it breeds so, so many insecurities that some of us didn't even fucking know we had. Like 
why am I in therapy then? Like, what's the point of being in therapy? You know, like, <laughs> I mean, please go to therapy if you can afford it. Therapy is so good for people. Whether you think you have problems or not, it's always good to have an external opinion from somebody on anything, you know, someone who is completely unbiased. Yeah, very frustrating. Very, very, very frustrating. People pleasing is denying you have boundaries and overextending yourself regularly because self-care is a thing you do not do. Yeah, because why would I prioritize myself? Why would I prioritize myself and put up walls for myself? I have a pet peeve of people randomly throwing the word empath around on the internet without understanding the def definition of empathy because a lot of times that they mean sympathy. Yeah. Yeah. That's another thing too. People, okay. And so that's another thing that I have seen a ton of. It's people throwing around like therapeutic term, like therapy terminology or whatever the fuck. You know, those big fancy words. Also, my chat box still is not here. Where are y'all? What is happening? Hold on, wait. Can I see y'all here? Hold on, chat? Say something, type? Just just spam my chat real quick, it's not working. Y'all are not on my stream for some reason. Oh my God, let me refresh it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I guess we have no chat. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're good, we're good, <laughs> we're good. Okay, whoa, but you're not here. But you're not here. Why? Come. Oh, amazing. Okay, we're good now. We're good. Um, but yeah, like people just like throw out all of these terms that to, to make themselves look in, like intellectual. And it's like, you have no fucking idea what you're saying. And I almost admire it. Again, this falls into that like same category of like, I wish I was just so delusional that I could walk around in the world and be like, I am sane. I am completely normal. I wish I could do that. Oh my God, like Jonah Hill using therapy speak to legitimize, legitimize him being a piece of shit. Oh, I fucking forgot about that. Also, Pirocchio, hello, Regal, hi, hello. Thank you all for spamming. I think we fixed it, we're good. I was wondering where everybody was. I was like, I'm lonely on the screen right now. <laughs> I'm so lonely. Not Sarah demanding we come and fixing chat like that. Look, listen, I need help sometimes. Neurotypical is a myth at this point. Kenley, hey, hello. I wish I could spout my bullshit with my whole chest. I know. Do we need to repost our messages? No, 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 presently. No, you're fine. Don't worry, don't worry. The problem that I was having was that, see, do you see this chat box right here? This was not showcasing on stream and I wanted to make sure it was working. So I had to reset them. And the only way that I can see it is if like chat is moving, right? So that's why I asked you all to spam. Don't worry, everything is okay. I'm actually gonna scroll up right now and see if I can get back to some messages that hopefully were not lost. Don't worry, don't worry. I've honestly have hugely overcame people pleasing this year. Good for you. And we'll stand up for myself slash won't feel the need to just say yes to everything this year, but still have lots of work to do. I'm proud of you. Look, a little bit of progress is better than none. And no progress is also okay. As long as you are self-aware and want to take care of yourself. Do you know what I mean? I'm very proud of you. Good job. I'm very, very, very proud of you. To have the confidence to be delusional, could you imagine? I can chat shit for days, but I don't gain a platform from it. Look, I can shit for days and I also won't gain a platform for it. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? I don't know why, but my head is like stuck in this like realm of piss and poop. I think it's because we're in Elpis. I keep wanting to make like piss and poop jokes. Violet, hey, what streaming service do you use? Twitter? I mean, Twitch? <laughs> I'm not, this, this is Twitch, right? Dips and Clammy, hello, I love your Gengar collection. Thank you, thank you. We have 13 of them. I moved some of them around. Most of them were like up here, but we love Gengar in this household. Gengar is best boy. There are a lot of faux ego in dominant culture. To be fair, many folks unwilling to recognize vulnerabilities or outlying behaviors. I think ego, ego is a terrifying thing. And I've kind of been learning the hard way in this industry 
how scary exactly an ego can be because they're combating against creators and industry folk who have a high ego is like walking into you know walking into a battle without any armor and like no weapon or like a tiny little pocket knife it's scary because you like they could be decked out in like level 100 gear you could be like in rags but you even scrape that armor and they go crying wolf they, they'll go cry wolf it's crazy aren't most creators at least slightly narcissistic no do not say that narcissist well meh. i mean yes and no but mostly no uh, narcissism is not loving yourself. Narcissism is actually a terrifying, um, is a, is a terrifying disorder. And I have way too much experience with narcissistic people. I don't even want to fucking touch on the subject of narcissism right now. I'm still trying to like overcome my like attachment to people with narcissistic tendencies. It's really bad because I have an anxious attachment style and that goes really well together. Hello, as a fairly small fashion photographer, I can relate to this conversation. Hello, Joe. Welcome in. Without a job zone, exactly. Ha cha cha, exactly. Oh, Emmy! Hi, Emmy! Hello, hello. Yeah, narcissists are very, very scary. And if you meet one, run. <laughs> There's a huge difference between how people use the word narcissistic and actual narcissistic personality disorder. I agree. Um, I used to, when I was much, much younger, I used to think I was a narcissist because I loved myself for a little bit. And I was like, oh, that's self-worth. That's not narcissism. <laughs> Meet one. One is my father. Oof. I'm so sorry. My father is also a narcissist. And that's why he's not in my life anymore. I don't need no dad. Because I got my daddies in chat. Ain't that right? <laughs> Narcissism is gaslighting other people into thinking you're the pimp shit and will not tolerate questioning of established social order. Oh my god, the social order, the hierarchy is so important to a narcissist, and that is also terrifying. They can do no wrong, they can say no wrong. Everything that they believe is law, whether they are wronged or not, they will find a way to be right by gaslighting you, by lying. They'll put you on a pedestal and rip it away from you so you feel like nothing without them. It's, it's fucking. It's fucking gross. <laughs> Crazy smoke, what's up? He thinks I know a few people who fit the description. I, I, we know a lot of people that fit that description. Also, Caleb, hello. I struggle with choosing myself. I was always told I was being selfish for doing things that I wanted over what my dad or family wanted. It is something that I still deal with. That's something that I think over time you will find peace with. I, for me, at least, when I felt like, for me, when I started becoming more independent and I started making better friends and I started like realizing which family members actually cared about me, that's when it became a lot easier for me to stop being a people pleaser. It, I find, you know, for a lot of people, or not even being a people pleaser, but just like, you know, escaping like, you know, bad habits and the like, um, I find that your environment will always play such a big part in how you shape yourself and how you grow. Um, and it's not necessarily fair in some senses because like not everyone will have the chance to like, you know, escape said like circumstances. Um, but you know, baby steps, right? Also the people around you. Yeah. That, that's what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. Like the environment, like who you are with. Um, sorry. Is it 13 tag? Cause it's your lucky number because reasons it is my, it is my lucky number. Um, I love the number three. I love the number 13. I love the number 31. Um, the house I grew up in was house 13, um, and my partner's home growing up was house 13. Um, their mom's birthday is 
house or number 13 like 13 is just such a fucking it's such a prominent number in my life and those around me it's kind of terrifying it, it pops up all the time the number 13 and the number three are everywhere in my life so i got it i got it on me and then one day i went shopping at sephora and i found a girl the the person cashing me out also had the number 13 right there on her on her wrist like exactly let me see let's see if i can find the photo really quickly i don't i don't think i'll be able to let me see let me see let me see mama say mama say mama crystal it's crazy crazy baby crazy let me see if i can find it oh But yeah, it was it was a really really cool moment. Super cool moment. Too much camera glare. I know, I know, cause I have I have the my ring light on. But regardless, <laughs> that's a gun show. Mm. All right, okay. So I know we've got a lot of people that came here from um, Poison's Raid. Who here plays Final Fantasy XIV? We're about to dive back into the Endwalker MSQ. We just got to Elpis. I'm very excited to explore it. We're also, we also just adopted a bird child. I don't know what that's all about, but first we're gonna do uh, the Leviathan uh, trial with Teddy. And then we're gonna get back into Endwalker, which I'm very excited about. But first I've got to put on me, put on me, me, my dues, my dues. Rose median is it? It was pronounced median, right? Like meteor median, Me median, meaty. Oh, I just dropped me. I just dropped me. Look at my bobby, my bob, my bobby. Oh, I don't have another one here. Fuck! I need to get more bobbies. One second, chat. No, she's not related to me. I'm on the verge of downloading it. Is it worth it? I don't know what XII is. Uh, maybe controversially, my favorite FF so far. I think FF14 is fantastic. I'm addicted to it. I have been playing it for two years straight. It's a great game. Meteon. 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 Yeah, got some meat on you. Yeah, can I get a bite of that meaty meat? Oh, fucking. I play a bunny boy dancer. Oh, hell yeah. We love bunny boys over here. Hello, Clef. She is a child? No, I I meant meat. Like I like meat. Not meaty. I'm not talking about the bird. I was trying to I was I just man, don't make it weird. Alright. Okay. It feels so funny walking around with my pouch. I look like I'm like I'm grabbing my, my a, a, a penis. Grabbing my meat. My shmeat. Small King died. Small King has to make a return. All right. Have you met your chat? True. I do not want to meet my chat. <laughs> Huge meat fan, by the way. Gabby! Hey, Gabby! It's nice to see you again. Hello! Oh, chat. This headache be booming. I'm meeting a chunk of them in two weeks. I'm actually so excited for KupoCon. Y'all have no idea. I'm like, I, I don't know what I'm gonna dress up as, but regardless, I'm very excited to meet everyone at KupoCon. That bow is giving Kiki vibes, thank you. I mean, you know what? It's so funny you say that actually. Actually, wow, I never put this, I never put two and two together. So, Peebers, my girl, Pepper, she, um, she, well, she's not wearing it right here, unfortunately, because of the class that I'm playing. Um, oh, shit, just a fuck. Okay. But, Pep, oh my god, we already have a full party, slay! Um, but, oh my god, my controller. 
but Pepper wears a red bow, usually. Hello, where's her red bow? There we go. Um, and I have, there's a song uh, created by Marie, who is a singer and also streamer, I believe, that I um, had the pleasure of doing a charity stream with, with uh, for IGN many years ago. Um, she created a song called Kiki Song, which I considered to be Pepper's, like, theme, kind of. Um, so it's so funny that you made that connection because I never actually did. I like the red bow, and it's all because of Peebo. <laughs> Sarah's heckin' cute as ever. Thank you. Thank you. Now level 83 on Summoner. Nice. I hit 86 today. We're gonna be at 90 in no time. All right, chat. Okay, heal us with the papussy. Oh, papussy on heels? All right, bet. Yo, I haven't healed in a hot minute, but I got you. Put the cowgirl on heels, baby. All right, how's the audio? Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. Meow, 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 meow. Well, let me put on my CC. Audio good so far? Okay, lit. Meow, meow, meow. Dr. Peppa. Oh my god, I got the papig. I got the papig out. <laughs> Did they patch out the dick cosplay? No, the dick cosplay is still in game. It's still in game, thank god. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, you know what? Mm. Oh my god, I forgot how to fucking play this class. All right, chat, let's see if I remember how to heal. Okay, which one repels magic again? The face, right? So I have to hit, attack the tail? Oh, on hard, on hard, I think the thing breaks, right? Like the, the ledges break? The ledge breaks? The barricades? The barriers? Am I the only one on the tail? <laughs> I mean, like, that's fine. I don't mind. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, what's my zoom ability again? So I can, like, zip around? Oh, it's this one. Come on, let me try it. Okay, it didn't even fucking take me that far. That's fine, though. This is the part where we have to use this for, right? Yeah, someone used it way too early. Yeah, you used it way too early. Yeah. Oh shit, what the fuck happened here? All right, Kieran, can you, can you take him on? Can you kill him? You got this! You got this! Fuck him up! Come on! Let's go! Come on, Gunbreaker! Go, Kieran! Go, Kieran! <laughs> Alright, yeah. So you have to use that when he's knocked out, and then he's gonna come and do the thingy-mabop. Okay? Remember, thingy-mabop. Okay? 
Remember that. Ow! Just hit my finger on my desk. <laughs> Kieran, you know what? Kieran nearly carried. Kieran nearly carried. all of us in a trial. I love doing content with the community, man. It's so fucking fun. I love knowing that, like, oh, fuck me in the butt. Um, but I love knowing that, like, we can all just run content together. Like, we don't have to run it with strangers, which is, like, so cool. die, but we're fine. I think it's now. Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> Please. Oh my god! I even ran! I went to do it! <laughs> oh. I was healing! Hello, salt! Kieran! Come on, Kieran! Let's go, Kieran! Let's go! Let's go, Kieran! Let's go! Fuck it up! 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 Let's go! You got this! You got this! You got this! You absolutely do not got this! <laughs> so, it happens like once all of the the spheres are gone and then he like drops that's when it happens so like you, you take out the spheres and then you, you turn that you turn that on <laughs> okay do y'all want me to turn it on then i was late <laughs> is this the content y'all signed up for <laughs> I have also done a discourse if anyone fancy playing me towards any sort of I have no idea what I'm doing kind of guys I'd be beyond grateful. Oh hell yeah. We can all definitely help you, don't worry. Like in like for Final Fantasy 14, you mean Joe? It'll be a lot of fun doing Don Trail content together as a group for the first time. I know! I am so excited to be able to like play the new expansion at the same time as everybody else. Because I really thought I'd be able to do that with Endwalker, but holy fuck was I wrong. Ah, hello, King Warrior. I'm good, I'm good. Take these out, and then I'll go turn it on. I feel like I should just start turning it on now. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Peppa Pig has got this. Yeah, nobody wipes us three times in a row. <laughs> I get a theme song where people just chant my name. baby first try ad break ends in three minutes oh my god i'm so sorry can we get a command ads in the chat i didn't realize i had three minutes of ads i thought it was less than that oh shit oh cj hello hello all right now that we've got leviathan out of the way guess what time it is guess what time it is babes um, well, first, let me swap off of. Swap off of a pop up sage. Alright. Where? Where is it? Where is it? Did I. Did I. Did I. Did I. Did I forget. I forgot to glam it back. I forgot to re glam my Elpis outfit. Fuck. I've got to go to foundation, quick! Quickly! I've got to go! I've got to go! Big oofas, big oofas indeed. Mm. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! All right, real quick though, how is the audio? Should I make it a little bit louder or are we okay? Audio is good. Music could be a smidge louder. How's this? <laughs> is this a little bit better? That's good. Perfect. Um, so I had a realization the other day. And chat, I do not want you to flame me. I don't want anybody in chat to flame me. I know you're going to, and I don't want to hear it. Um, so we all know how I love cat boys, right? I love cat boys. I do. I really do. I think cat boys are great. You cannot go wrong with a cat boy. However, however, I have I have found out that aura men. are hot as balls. <laughs> I did I, I always thought they were kind of scary and they were like so big for no reason. But then I realized, oh no, 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 they're big for a reason and that reason is me. You know what I mean? So like do what you will with that. Like, they're so hot, and like, why? Like, I don't think it's that, like, that's legally okay. But I'm happy about it. You know what I mean? They'd split you in half? Good. That is exactly what I want. Oh my god, so you remember how yesterday I, like, put up a bunch of things to sell on the marketplace? I got a bunch of money back. Oh my god, I got even more. Let's go. I am making shmoney, baby. I don't need dentists anymore. I'm my own sugar mama. 
Dentist, Irish, and Soren? I don't need him. <laughs> have you seen my aura himbo? I have not. Hello, is it Hidio? 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 Hidiotlin? Hidiotlin? Hello, how are you? It's Jover. We're Barack. <laughs> I have a serious Final Fantasy 14 question. Why do bunnies not have puff tails? Oh, isn't, doesn't that have something to do with their lore? I think I remember L talking about it, but I, I don't remember, I don't know the details. I don't, I don't know. I don't actually know why. Oh, it's so nice having a fucking empty ass inventory. Oh my God, I love it. Um, sell items in your inventory, yeah. Put up for sale, no, 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 I might have retain a sell item, have retain a sell item. Thank you, thank you. And then we'll go to Galaric. Let's see if I've got anything to uh, put away. Interest duplicates, nice. Beautiful, love that for me. And then let's go to Tamari. And let's do the same thing. Oh my God, so last night, chap, I spent like a few hours working on my fanfic. Like I'm, I, and I started like brainstorming like Pepper's like family. It's happening. It's happening, chat. It's happening. The Final Fantasy XIV fanfic is coming to life. It's finally fucking happening. I'm so... I'm so excited. Um... Yay! Elpis. Good night, Dips and Calamity. Take care. Thank you for popping in for a little bit. Have a good night. Tyra, a monster fucker? We've been new. What can I say? I like them big. Right. And then I believe the rest. Oh, wait, no. I have more for you. Come back, Waldo. Take that and that. Thank you hold on to those two. Yeah. Um, cool. Let's go to the gold sauce real quick. I want to get rid of that. Oh, wait. I also picked up my Chloe journal today. Do I have anything in here? No. Um, yeah. Okay. Let me quickly go to the gold saucer so I can sell that. Um, that card and then we're good um fuck what were we talking about chat i've completely zoned out tail kink always always what are we talking about or is being hot no there's something else there was something else we were talking about nope since I lost my status as sugar daddy, I would like my million gil back. Thank you very much. This guy did not just fucking tip $50 to say that. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. Tentas, thank you for the for the for the fitty. Thank you for the fitty. We should take Teddy through the A Realm Reborn extremes to get a mount. Oh my god, absolutely. I would love to do that farm some mounts together oh kieran hello kieran there was something oh fanfic wait oh did i not do my oh i didn't gamble today chat oh we're gambling oh fuck oh pussy fart that's nine should we take the nine we'll take the nine what did i miss out on no i slayed We'll do this, talk about the fanfic, and then we will go to Elpis. Okay. I'm gonna risk this one. Oak. All right, this one's gonna be one, two, three. Wanna bet? No, beside me, bro. I got Alfie no beside me. There's no way. There's no way. I actually clocked it. There's no. I'm a god. I'm a fucking god. I'm a motherfucking legend. P pussy power. That's the fucking p pussy power. Oh my god. Yo, I'm a god. But also, what's up, Alfie no? Artemis Levia. Artemis Levia. Wait. Levia, Miss, Mr. Levia. Are they like sibling of the twins? Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Tell the twins that Pepper misses them so much and to brush their teeth. 
<laughs> Holy shit, is 10k a lot? Yes, so in Cackpot, the highest amount that you can get on a scratch card is 10k. So the goal is to get the 1, 2, 3 or the 7, 8, 9. Like you want to hit like, you know, it's, it's kind of scattered. Sometimes you don't get a lot. Sometimes you only get 72 um, MGP. Sometimes you get like, six, like 360. But the goal is to at least get like the triple digits. And 10k is the highest. So I slayed. My pussy was popping. Um, but yeah, I really want to share my OC stuff with y'all. But I'm a little bit paranoid about it. Like I'm gen... I, I don't really feel too comfortable sharing things until like I upload the fanfic, but I've started it. I've started it. Oh, they said I'll let them know. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it in your chest. I will, but like, oh my god, I'm I'm so excited with the stuff that I've written. The first chapter is gonna be so cute. It's gonna be so silly, but it's gonna pick up the pace like immediately. I'm all here for OC lore dumps. I want a lore dump, but after the stuff that I that I went over yesterday, I don't want a lore dump on stream anymore. So the only way y'all are gonna learn about Pepper is by reading my fanfic, which like honestly is kills me because I don't want to force y'all to read my stuff. I don't like I don't know how many of y'all are into that kind of thing. Like, oh my god, I need, can someone please remind me to get a new cable? I keep forgetting to get a new cable. This is gonna like die on me in a raid, and it's gonna be so bad. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know if, 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 like, fanfic is, like, something that, like, y'all enjoy reading. Like, I don't know who here likes that kind of thing, but did I attune? Did I ever attune to Elpis? How do I attune to... Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, Booth, hey Booth. Okay, but as an avid reader, where's the link? It has not gone up on AO3 yet, but I do have an AO3. I think we could do command AO3 in the chat. I currently have three fix up. Um, one is, um, one is my Dragon Age Inquisition fan fiction. Yeah, there it is. Okay, yeah, so it, it just, it links you to that. Um, it's not done. I've, I've been working on that one for about like three years now, I think. Two or three years. <gasps> Thank you for the head pads, everybody. I appreciate it. Um, and um, then there's another one, which is a one shot that is also Dragon Age related. It's my Dragon Age OC and her partner, or ex-boyfriend rather, um, in Stardew Valley. They, they escaped Thetis to go in, into Stardew Valley, into Stardew Valley world. It's actually very sad. I wrote that one in like one night and I was crying. It's, it's from the heart. It's because I, I was going through something at the time and had to get it out somehow. And, um, and then the other one is a little moment from my D and D adventures with Void. This was from like last year, I think like very early last year when our, um, our campaign just begun and Void just joined the group um, because Void was actually not supposed to be a part of the campaign. Uh, one of our friends actually had to back out because their schedule no longer aligned <laughs> and um, so because of that uh, Void stepped in and Void killed their character. So it's a, little, a little bit of a little bit of a tough uh, tough bit. So it's like it's a whole like anxiety um, piece about her. Um, but I am hoping maybe this weekend I can upload the first chapter for my peppermint uh, fic. I'm planning on having two fics, two to three fics going at the same time. One is going to be following the MSQ. One is going to be just like a little like random like pepper moments kind of. Um, and the other one I think I might focus on, focus a lot more on her time in college, which you will learn about in the fic. Bye, Hideo. Take care. As the guy that forced people to sub to you, I think everyone should read your fix. Thank you, dentist. All right. Let's go find that little bird. Ooh, what does this say? Umbral wind? There's an umbral wind? Oh, so something y'all were saying when I got here was that I didn't, I didn't get the fog. What did that mean? What did y'all mean by that? Like, I have no fog? 
Because I, I, I arrived at Elpis and it was beautiful and clear. What, what did y'all... What did y'all mean by... Oh, the umbral wind. The fog ruins the scene when the doors first open? Oh, so I got lucky, huh? Yo, streamer privileges, eh? It's kind of a meme when a stream arrives at a nice pretty area and it's fog. Damn! Isn't the umbral wind and some others for the bosses that pop up on the map? What? What? What boss? There's a boss here? Hello, Apple. Hello, Davis. Hello, Kieran. Hello, Vals. And Leo. Leo puppy. Flame puppy, I give you pets. <laughs> Oh, Odin. oh my god, I forgot about fighting Odin. That was so long ago. Ah, okay, oh my god, I'm kind of nervous. Also, trainer Nick Delos. Hello, welcome to the chat. Hello, hello. Mm. All right, I'm nervous. Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay. Ah, oh, you're back. Let's go, let's go. All right, speak with Memnon while accompanied by Meteon. All right, come on, little little thing, little cutie patootie, pop pop booby do boo. Oh, we have a conversation piece here. Uh, discuss the etherite. Ah, the etherite. Anyone can use it to teleport anywhere. Well, maybe not anywhere, not to the ground or the aisles. For that, you need teleporters. Oh, and permission. I don't really remember what they sound like, so bear with me. Omg, you wrote embers. Shut. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> You're lying. You're lying to me. Yeah, tending embers is mine. <laughs> Rayonera is, is me. <laughs> Wait, Dorian Gamer, you're lying. You've, you've never read that before. <laughs> Stop. Actually? <laughs> oh, that's so funny! Oh, that's so funny! Uh, don't worry, I will be returning. Ah! Ah! Don't worry, I'll be returning to tending embers very soon. I have to write the the. I don't know if you're caught up, but I have to finish writing the the healing scene because Miss Rayonera got beat the fuck up at the end of that Fade Rift battle. So. <laughs> Ah! Ah! The, ah! <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. That's so fucking crazy. <laughs> ah! I didn't realize how many people, like, I guess, like, read my fic. I mean, the Dragon Age fandom isn't, like, crazy, crazy big. It's not, like, huge. But that's so crazy to me that you've read Tending Embers. Look, chat, look. I started this fanfic, okay? I published it April 11th, 2021, which by the way is Sola Velen Day, okay? I knew what I was doing, but I started it in like January or December. So I started it way before. Last time I updated it was January 10th of this year. Like, I, 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 it's huge though. 58,000 words, like it's huge. Okay, well, an entire work, how long? Okay, reading time is four or five hours? If I start reading this now, I'll finish at 1.30. Yo, chat, go. <laughs> the Dragon Age of Final Fantasy XIV pipeline is real. No, it really is. Um, I put my whole Cyrusy into this fanfic, by the way. If any of y'all like Dragon Age, I'm just saying, it's good. It's a, it's good. It's good, okay? My main character is so sweet. She's so funny and she's so dumb. Oh my god, I'm blushing. I'm fucking, I'm blushing. Oh my god. I'm like, I want to cry. I left AO3 to say hi. Nikki, there's no... There's no way. We speak of AO3 and we spawn Nikki. I mean, I named myself Dorian for a reason. Oh my god! When I saw your username, I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to like look stupid and like maybe insult you. But in my head, I was like, Dorian Pavis? Because Dorian is gay? <laughs> Oh, 
my god, that's so funny. That's so funny. I love this. Your shirt sure isn't a cast too? Yo, you have good taste, babe. <laughs> I may have a problem. I just started getting into FF14 a week ago and I have 50 hours for the week. Good. Um, do you need a do you need an FC by the way? Because we have one that you can join Logic Guy. Make sure your character is on Crystal Goblin. You should come here. So you two write your character with himbo slash female equivalent energy? Yeah, I mean, oh my god. Listen, I can talk about Rayanera all fucking day. Rayanera is incredibly hot-headed. She is young. She's like, I think I think I have her set to like 28 or something. Very spicy, very bratty, doesn't always make the right decision. And that is like, that's part of her, you know, anxiety though, because she thinks, she, she acts before she thinks, which is a huge problem. It gets her into a lot of trouble. So like, she's, she's a dumb girly pop, but like not actually dumb. She's very intelligent. She's just, she doesn't think, she does not think. Hi, your body isn't beating up too bad. I hope your body isn't beating up to back to bed for me. Bye, Mira. Thank you for popping in and for wishing me good body. <laughs> Golden retriever in human form. Oh, we love that. But I have a little humanity. Oh, hell yeah. I'm glad you have. I'm glad you have a team to play with. Good. I'm always worried when people like jump into an MMO and they don't have have anyone to accompany them. I really need to reread the fanfic. I miss Ray. I miss her too, man. I miss Rayanera too. Let me show y'all Ray. Let me show y'all my girl. Because I know most of you have seen her, but if you haven't. She's like high int slash low wisdom D&D character. Basically, yes. Hey, I mean, you've read my fanfic. How would you describe Ray? Let's see. Let's see. Do I have a photo of her on here? Oh my god. Oh, my baby. Do I have the artwork of, here on, of her on here? I do. God. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god, y'all want to see my baby? Do y'all want to see Rayanera? Oh my god. This one uh, art piece of her, her skin is a little too dark, but like, that's okay. She looks amazing regardless. Oh my god, my baby. Oh my god, it's so weird looking at these photos of her. I miss playing Dragon Age so fucking bad. Okay, here, let me show you my babe. Let me show you my babe. Let me fangirl over my babe real quick. This is Ray. She is so beautiful. She is an elf. She's a, well, she's a, mm, she's a Dalish elf, I think. I remember if I remember correctly. Um, and she's just she's just a silly gal. She has insane fire uh, capabilities and has not learned how to properly control it yet. We we love Ray in this household. She is so pretty and just. A little a little fireball as Varric likes to call her this photo of her by the way mm. she's good stuff look at her look at this little cheap of Ray she's so fucking cute and look at this one I don't have I don't have a lot of my my Ray artwork on my PC they're mostly on my phone um, but like look look at her fucking look at her in her cloak and her little like furry gauntlets and then this one by Ricky of course by Ricky the one the only hey Liz look at my child Rayanera was like my first OC back when I was in like back when I was like 16 or something Brett yes Ray loves bread and she loves cheese. And if she ever goes missing, she's in the tavern, like eating cheese and bread. She is my everything. Look, if you if you look clear carefully, uh, it says the singing maiden. <laughs> oh my god, she's got the little Inquisition. Oh my god, she's got she's got henna like henna to go with like the the uh, Dirth Dirthamen markings on her on her face. Uh. Yeah, look at the detail like it's just she's <sighs> she got she's got the jar of bees so the way to steal her heart is a charcuterie board yes actually yes ray is like when your anxiety brain thing where your brain thinks where your when your anxiety brain thing where your brain is in flight but your body's in fight yes that's actually a really good uh descriptor for ray it's actually a perfect descriptor for ray um but yeah 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I just want to gush about it right now. I just want to talk. I want to talk about. I could talk about Ray forever. Hold on. Let me see. Let me quickly send myself something so I can show you all this. I have. I have so much artwork of Ray and Nera and Solas. Actually, I could just show you all it right here. No, I will put them in my Discord so I can show you all properly. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put them in the Dragon Age chat, of course. If that makes sense. Oh my god, I have so much art of her. Like it's actually insane. Like during COVID, all of my income literally went into commissioning artists, like photos or art pieces of Rayanera. I have one of her and Dorian, and they have yet to like actually bond in my fanfic yet, but I'm so excited for that. Oh my god. I'm, I know we're like derailing from MSQ, but like, look, listen, I'm having a moment here, okay? I'm having such a moment. Fuck. I miss writing my baby. <laughs> Ray and Aaron and Cassandra are fun to watch together. Oh, they absolutely are. I love writing Ray and Cass. I really do. Ca okay. Cass getting the cane. I am a writing god. <gasps> oh my god, my favorite Ray and Aaron piece is not in here. What? Where is it? Do I have to go on Twitter to grab it? Oh my god, I may have to. I think it's my lock screen, hold on. Well, my lock screen right now is Grahatia, but hold on. There. I'll show y'all it like this, because I'm lazy. No, okay, I'm gonna pull it up on the PC. Why do people not like Solus again? Because he's literally Emmett Selk and wants to destroy the world just to bring back the Elvenon. Big sad. Big sad. Here we go, 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 here we go. Ha! Ah, this art piece by obviously like Alina, I love her. She is such a fucking great artist as well. I will always commission my like romance scenes from her. Are like, are you kidding? Look at them! I have yet to also write this scene. This is also supposed to be like moments before perchance their first kiss. Who knows? Kitsune Spirit, thank you for the posture check. This is um, by Satori uh, Satori C. Her credit is in my um, both of my Twitter bios, so you can go check that out. She is fucking fantastic. I love commissioning her. She takes such good care of my characters. Look at them. Look at the fucking details. The snow in her hair, the snow on his scalp, the freckles. Am I hearing fanfic chit chat? Yes, we're talking about my Dragon Age fanfiction. <laughs> Cause Dorian has read my fanfic and I'm gushing now. But yeah, it's so good. It's just so fucking good. It's just fucking fantastic. Just amazing. And then we have these ones that I just posted. Um, like this is by Kayla, Kayla Elizabeth. Them sitting by a little campfire playing with her hair she's reading a tome which she never does because this bitch does not know how to read i love them i love them and then we have this one. Oh my god teaching her how to like harness the fire ah! sorry for that new dragon age content love seeing it still be relevant i know i i i demand dragon age content and that's why i just have to create my own so you know what if y'all need dragon age content i will fucking provide i will fucking provide okay y'all need fanfic i will get back to this i will start writing immediately and return to my fanfiction <laughs> like almost a year later look look at ray and dorian <laughs> look at them ah! 
Oh, good stuff. Sorry, I'm like completely gushing. I know we're taking away from the Endwalker moment, but Dreadwolf announcement any week, right? 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 I mean, like the Game Awards are coming up. Maybe if we're hopeful. Get the clown makeup. Gushing over egg. Yo, can we get some Syra bald in the chat? Oh, and then Pepper and Pepper. Rayanera and Waldo. <laughs> I want her to get um like a wolf pup. These are not the images I get when I Google DA without safer search. <laughs> Hi, Sarah, you're the best. Blue look, heart. Look, thank you for your 33 month resub. I appreciate it. Welcome back to the Covenant of your bedroom. What's in your stay? Thank you, Captain. Take care. I appreciate you popping in. Absolutely saying Dorian would do too. Oh, for sure. Ugh, and this one is super cute too. I mean, I mean, my loading screen is Rayanera. This is um supposed to be, um, fuck, not the Emerald Graves. Um, no, 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 it's a oh fuck, what is it called? Not the Emerald Graves. What's the other place called with the um where the um? Oh my god, I cannot believe I forgot. It's been so long. It's been so long since I played. No, not the Hinterlands. It's the one where the refugees are, like the elven on the elven refugees. No, not in Priest of Leon, no. I mean, in Priest of Leon works for sure, but no, it's supposed to be, um... Fuck, what is it called? Oh my god, I have to look this up. Uh, Dragon Age... Um... Okay, it starts with an E. The Dales? Is it the Dales? The Exalted Plains! The Exalted Plains. So it's supposed to be the Exalted Plains, but like wintry. Because a lot of the beginning of my fanfic starts out like in winter. Not, well, not even just in winter, actually, sorry, my bad. My fanfic starts off in, in autumn. So when even in the hinterlands, there's like, it's a little bit cold, like the, like the, the trees are really orange and stuff. Um, and my BRB screen is, is Miss Rayanera in the tavern. She's studying some 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 stings, <laughs> and then this one is Ray and Era with four wolves that represent Fenris. Um, oh, fuck, what is it? Fenris, Waldo, herself, and Fenharel. <laughs> so, thank God nothing loot is here. <laughs> See, here's where I must claim ignorance of a fandom. I haven't played, but I haven't read, read up. I know of Dragon Age, but I know more Warhammer lore than I do Dragon Age. That is absolutely fine. That is totally fine, Glitter Girl. That just means we have to convert you and turn you into a Dragon Age fan, which is not going to be that difficult because Dragon Age is fantastic. I'm so worried about the state of Bioware. Man, I know. Me too. I know a lot of people, a lot of fantastic people who work at Bioware and... <sighs> It's, uh, things aren't necessarily looking so hot, but you know what? PMA. PMA. Oh, <gasps> not the four top, not the, not the, not the Orshifon fucking armor, bro. I am actually not a big, uh, Mass Effect fan. I will say that. I'm not a sci-fi girly. I'm so sorry. Time for another rewatch of Dragon Age Absolution. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Mm. All right, chat. Let's talk to Memnon. Memnonamonamonam. And what have we here? Though you look like a person, you have the ears and tail of a beast. I assume you're familiar like Meteon. Is there something you need? Hey! They called me a beast! I'm just a little baby! Oh, my ears are flying off my head. Holy fuck, they're racist. I know, what the fuck? They called me a beast. I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little dude. Oh, let me fix this. I wasn't Ellison, so I didn't get that, get all that, but I did assume I was a familiar. La creature. I never thought they'd be racist to the cat folk. I'm so sad. This is Peppa. Can you teach her about Alpis? Ah, a newly rough familiar, is she? Very well. I should be glad to introduce our fair facility to her. Maddie, howdy, thank you for the pram, so welcome back to the Covenant Revengers and your stay. Thank you. 
As you know, it is mankind's duty to make the star a better place. As part of this duty, we employ creation magics to bring forth new life. However, we cannot simply release our works into the world, for it would lead to chaos. No, any and all life forms must undergo extensive testing to determine their, fit their fitness to exist. Testing, which is conducted here in Elpis. Every candidate is subjected, is subjected to rigorous study in which we identify the pro uh, properties, surmise what habitats might be suitable, and speculate as to the effects that effects they may have on the environment and other species. Well, I'm trying to like adjust. Ooh, we got a hype train going. Slay. As a Lala, I was told I was peculiarly small little baby. Oh, the banter is wild, Jacko? Oh my god, I may have to check it out. I may have to replay this as a lala. Hello, love looks like. Thank you, Perdery. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm still trying to rock the, like, not-so-heavy makeup look, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty. Is that a Moogle man? Why Moogle man? <laughs> Should it be judged a beneficial addition to the star, it will be allowed to take place in its world. Take its place in the world. The two of you, too, were created with the hope of making the star a better place. So heed your masters well and be good, do you hear? Oh, you want me to be good for my master? Who's my master? Who's my master? Is it Emmett? We will, Memnon, we will. Thanks for the lesson. You had a turn? Now I get a turn. Okay, what are you gonna ask me? Where did you come from? Um, from a place far, far away. From a place facing a great threat. From the Crystarium, I guess? Um, if I say the Crystarium, she's gonna ask more questions. If I say a great threat, I might make her upset. <gasps> You're also House for Tom Knight. I just noticed that in your title. I think I should go with the first one. Where'd you get those cat ears? They're from Etsy. Dente! Thank you for the 10 gifted! To everybody I got gifted a sub, welcome to the coven of your bedroom and your state. Thank you so much, Dentist! Oh my god! Are we gonna hit. Dentist, are we gonna hit 777 tonight? Chat. Are you gonna help Dentist help us reach 777 tonight? Y'all are wild. Y'all are wild. Um, let's do the Crystarium. <laughs> Crystarium? Holy shit, you scared me. I've never heard of it. But this place is important to you. I can feel it. Oh, my power! I haven't told you about it. A creation. Let's find a creation. One not being watched. Then I'll explain my power. Alright. We have another talking point over here, so let's go talk to her here. Eurodome. Okay, so I'm getting the feeling that a lot of the, like... Do I even call them Asians? What, what do I call them again? Big people. A lot of them are... Like, based off of Greek? Like, Greek names and stuff? Ancient ones. Yes, thank you, the ancient ones. <laughs> the big people. <laughs> Yeah, the ancients. When did you pass 666? I don't even remember. <laughs> the other day, I believe. We're climbing, baby. We're climbing. Motionless bird. Yo, it's Emmett. It's Emmett. I remember you stalking me in Shadowbringers, bro. Get the fuck. Oh, I forgot to go talk. Whoopsie. Oh, this creation is perfect. What? I don't remember seeing it before. Perhaps it's new. It's Emmett. I'm telling you, it's that weird dude. He's really sexy for no reason. Anyway, I'll try and remove. Anyway, I'll try reading its mind. That's my power. Hmm. 
Hmm, I can't read it. Well, maybe there's nothing to read. <laughs> Got a fucking walnut in that skull. <laughs> wait, please wait. I'll try again. With you this time. I'm gonna read my mind. I'm just going to read my mind. My head is also empty, bro. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Not a single thought. Oh. Greetings. Can you hear me? She's doing that thing again. Oh, the music. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, the little pretty music. Oh, the beep, 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 beep. This is my power. I can read the emotions of those around me and project my emotions to others in return. I am not actually speaking to you in your mind. Rather, you are converting my emotions into words and intention. A process performed subconsciously by intelligent life forms. Oh my god, she called me intelligent. This ability is vital to my mission, for it allows me to interact with intelligent beings even should they communicate via unknown languages or other nonverbal means. As a consequence, I am clumsy at speaking. Yet, though I struggle to express myself in this fashion, Hermes wants me to speak as much as possible, for everyone has thoughts and feelings that they may wish to hide. I harbor an affection for you, one that is difficult to define. Aside from the fact that you share common traits with us, your thoughts are complex, prismatic. They draw me in and leave me wanting to know more. Out of respect for your privacy, I will refrain from using my power when speaking with you. Nevertheless, I want you to know that I wish to be your friend. I will protect you with my life. I swear to God, if anything happens to you, weird bird child. Did you hear me? I yeah, I did. I did. I did. <laughs> good. Now it's my turn again. So, what are you good at? Fighting, crafting, gathering, playing. It's a secret. What is Pepper good at? Fighting? Uh, Pepper is good at fighting, actually. Crafting? Being cute. True. 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 Playing. I feel like if I say playing, she'll be happy. I think fighting. Well, when Oyster Mom was alive, simping. Okay, true. You got me there. It's the eyelashes. I know. The little pretty eyelashes. I'm gonna have dinner with my mom. Thank you for helping slay the Leviathan single-handed. First time, Sarah. <laughs> You're welcome. I had a lot of fun. Hello, Brave. I'm great. Oh, my God. Chat, I'll be right back. I think my... I think my, my period is period perioding. Nanacious! Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Uh, I, to everybody, I'll give it a sub. I'm going to give it a stay. Thank you for attuning to the pussy. But the pussy needs to be uh, checked up on. Uh, I will be right back, chat.
Okay, I'm back. I'm just gonna put my heating pad in the microwave, so I'll be back in about two minutes. Okay, chat? Give me one second. I'm back. It sounded like my seal was gonna explode. <laughs> okay. You know what I love and also hate about my, um, my heating pad? It smells like oatmeal. And I love the smell of oatmeal, but when you are on your period and slightly nauseous all the time, it's not necessarily a good feeling. Also, very quickly, chat. We have the dick headband. How do we want to use it? I like how that list is mostly food gift cards. Yeah, I mean, so I, I'm, I'm going to try, like, catering my wish list a bit better because normally I just put, like, cute clothes or, like, just anything, really. But, you know, I, if y'all want to, like, actually gift me things that are, like, going to be useful, the Uber gift cards are so handy because I can order Uber Eats and, like, Uber vehicles and stuff with it. So, like, you take care of, like, my, my transportation when I have to run my errands you feed me like you know like that kind of thing i'm literally a fucking tamagotchi this is also from throne i do have an electric heating pad but i don't have any outlets to plug it in in here so for stream i have to use my little seal unfortunately um but um how do we want to use the dick headband because i was thinking originally that like when we hit sub goals i could wear it but i think we need to do something bigger than that because they're penises you know, how, how do, how do, how do you want to use the dick, the dicks chat? <laughs> Y'all think about that. Y'all think about the dicks while I continue this. Uh, what will I say? Fighting. I'm, Peppa is quite good at fighting. <laughs> oh, fighting. That must mean you're strong. Hermes is strong too, but he doesn't like to fight. Even when creations fight him. The fucking bird is staring at us now. What do you fucking want? What do you want, Emmett? Oh my god, it's so creepy! I love it! Loki, I love shoe bills. I think they're really cool. I, I think we might be bothering it. Oh my god, Emmett, stop! Stop staring at me like that. Let's keep going. We'll go and see you, Yuanthi next. She's usually in a small building. One on the west row. All right, let's go say hello. Can I talk to it? Oh my God, hello. <laughs> hello, y'all scared me. Well, the bird's saying nothing. You coming with me? 
You're gonna come help me find you and the. Okay, there's a talking point somewhere here, over here. <gasps> oh, spriggin' little dudes. Little sprigs. Discuss the spriggins. Spriggins? What's our spriggins? Oh no, we call them Orii. If there's many, if there's many. If it's just one, we say Orius. Though they're cute, they can be naughty. Sometimes they run off with our con <laughs> with that with concept crystals, and Hermes has to run after them. That's cute. The Oreos. Have you seen one IRL? They're fucking dinosaurs, and they make machine gun noise with their bills. With their bills. I've never seen one in real life, but like I've seen them, and they're so fucking cool. Where am I going? Oh, this way. If we did a charity stream, we could make it a redeem. True. We could make it a charity redemption. What about this? Every thousand subs, I wear the dicks. Every time we hit a thousand or like an interval of 500, I wear the dicks. They're silly, they're silly looking feather dinos. That could, that could kill you. And I love it. I love the fear. Sinsley, hello, welcome. Welcome back, rather. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Do, do I, where do I, do I cut into one of these buildings? I'm not sure. Here. You and the. You and the? Hello. Well, well, if it isn't Meteon, I see you've brought a friend today. Greetings, you and the. Um, an apple. Could you make me an apple? The kind Hermes likes, covered in syrup. I want to share it with Pepper. Oh, a candied apple. Hermes is certainly partial to them, but you know you can't eat Meteon. You weren't made to do so. B but I like it too. It may seem that way, but it's due to your ability to share others' feelings. You've taken Hermes' likes for your own. In any case, I can't prepare an apple right now, but I'll bring one for Hermes soon. I promise. Meteon can't eat! Is... Is Meteon not meant to survive? <laughs> I've got a really bad feeling about this because Meteon is like one of the one of many that Hermes is trying to make. <laughs> I remember that. I remember Hermes being like, oh yeah, this is one of my new creations. Yeah, still working on it. Do not take my little birdie away from me! I'm sorry, Peppa. I, I wanted to show you my favorite thing. Then I can ask about yours. But I failed. No, you didn't fail! Tell what you like. Oh, that's what you like. What did I tell her? I like big boobs. Oh, that's what you like. Yes, yes. I can feel it. Your joy and happiness. Then it makes me happy too. Oh no, ah, that backfired. <laughs> Thanks for sharing it with me, Peppa. I'm I'm retracting my big boobs. Well, we've walked and talked a lot. Maybe Hermes finished talking too. Shall we go and see? All right. Ah! Jesus. <laughs> you scared me. All right, let's go find Big Dick, Big Dick number two, and Big Dick number three. Where are they? Where are they? You still chit chatting? Hello. Hello, Hithodeus. Ah, oh, excellent timing. Twas a refreshing constitutional, I hope. What? Back already? Pity. A bit longer, we might have snuck away without you. Oh my god! Ah! I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna wring your neck. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm 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 oh mm. I can't, I can't even, I can't even put up a fight. I can't even put up a fight. I can't even try. Good night, dentist. I like hot chocolate. I like men with white hair. Ooh. 
This is so... You're gonna pounce on him is what you meant to say? I mean... Zooming on- zooming in was definitely an error. God, why does he look at me like- he's got like that sultry like stare. I just like... What if I just... Chat? What if I- No, it's gonna make me stand up. I was gonna try getting on my knees. Anyways, um... Hello, hear me's? <laughs> Don't ask how I know that it doesn't work. There you are. I can see the fresh air has done meaty and good. Peppa wanted to learn about you and Alpis, so I taught her. About this place, about my power, about your favorite food. I'm not sure if that last one will be of any use. But I do appreciate your keeping meaty on, com meaty on company. While you were away, I finished speaking with our guests. Finished? Hardly. You requested time to consider the invitation, so we have no choice but to occupy ourselves with an inspection of your work. My apologies. It has been decided that Emmett Selk and Hitler Deus will accompany me as I attend to my duties. If you wish to learn more, perhaps you would like to come too? Oh. Like a date. I'm compelled to remind you that she is in no way associated with the convocation. We simply chance to meet at there is no guarantee that the matters we discuss will remain private. I do not mind. To see the joy her presence brings Meteon, Meteon, I cannot imagine our mysterious friend Harbour's malicious intent. Peppa is kind. Really, truly. She taught me as much as I taught her. You're coming, of course, to watch Hermes. You're bound to learn lots and lots. <laughs> fucking about fine, I guess. I'm fucking <laughs> oh, I love him. God, I love him. I can't get, shake the feeling that like Hermes is really hot. I need to know what he looks like. I just, I need to know. Though I see new creations on a daily basis, here they look at them with a different eye. It'll be interesting to observe Hermes, Hermes and Mr. Hermes at work. This time we all get to go for a walk. Isn't it exciting? So fucking cute. It is held that all civil organizations should conduct their affairs with total transparency, and the convocation is no exception. But that doesn't mean we are obligated to show, your, show our work to unknown entities such as you. Consider yourself privileged and behave accordingly. Ah! Just bend me over your knee, bro. Just lives apart. Oh! Composure regained. Hermes is ready to return to his duties. If everyone is ready, there are a few creations I need to check on. First, we shall return to the spot where we found our wayward ambistoma. I forgot what the ambistoma is. But all right. <laughs> oh, the axolotl! The little scooby doobies! The little hoobie shoobie scooby dee beebie squeaky squeakies. Have care when you step outside a hub, for there may be more unruly creatures about. Slay. Bam, meow, meow, meow. Chat, we've got an ad break coming up in two and a half minutes. Feel free to sit through the ad if you the ads if you'd like. They it'll mean a lot to me because I get to make some shamounis. But if you want to bypass ads, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, and then you will never experience ads again for the next. 30 days. So that is up to you. Entirely. Yeah, so many little quests around here. Oh, I can't wait to go on my like completionist skedad around all of Eorzea and the like. Let me speak to this uh, Mender real quick. Oh, I wonder what the junk monger has. Uh, all my stuff seems all right, actually. What, what do you have? What, what do you have? Mangan manganese, manganese. Mangan manganese nuts. <laughs> Nothing that really tickles me pickle, actually. Wait, whoa, what was that down there? Is it a shield? Well, yeah, okay, I was just gonna say, like, that looked like it would buff my stuff like crazy, but. Is there anything here of interest to me? <laughs> no, doesn't look like it. 
Whoa, wait, armor is kind of cool. With my pussy out, I kind of fuck with it. It's kind of sick. Oh, wait, this is cute. Wait, wait, I'm not a fan of like the shoulders or the abs. Oh, with the red? Bro, wait. Oh, oh, that's kind of cool. What are you doing accent? Am I having a stroke? I'm doing an accent, yeah. I don't really speak like this. This is not what I sound like. Hmm. Some of these honestly like aren't even actually that bad. I'm surprised. I'm surprised at how impressed I am with some of these. All right, okay, magic. Ooh, a hood. Ooh, a hood. Ooh, kind of cute. Oh, wait, these robes. I recognize these. I have a variation of these. Oh my god, wait! I have these, but they're like, I think they're... I have these. I, ha I have those gloves, but I, th I think they're like locked to, um, Astro? I could be wrong. No, they're not locked. Oh, but I have those. I have a, I have a, I got, I got, a, I got a version of these. Yeah. Like a proper medic with that. All right. What, what items do you have? Oh, gold salmon row. All right. Wait, aren't these what you feed the chocobo? Or am I crazy? A leafy vegetable indigenous to the Near East. Well, too bitter for the most for most people's taste. Chocobos are known to enjoy the flavor. Yeah. Feed those to your chocobo. <laughs> your accent is so natural. Are you sure you're not British? No, I'm not. I was confused because it sounds so good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I'm actually not very... I, I don't really think I'm too good at doing the accent, but I have been told by multiple people that it is it is viable viable believable enjoy the flavor of chocobo I, you know, i've never actually eaten chocobo before it's melting my brain like in a good way oh it's perfect oh thank you i'm still learning like i'm still trying to perfect the accent if you keep talking like that you know listen cherry blossom girl we used to actually have um a redemption thing for like 500k or something like that and if you redeemed it i would speak in a british accent for the remaining of the, the remainders of the stream what the fuck oh my god oh my god this is that this is the fucking cat from from the void arc raid that's the, the little that's the ugly little cat from the void arc raids what Yay! Ah, oh, that's so, that's so cute. It's got a little cape and everything. The tissue box was a mistake, but it makes sense. <laughs> Are you sure it was a mistake? Are you sure? Do you want to know a tidbit about the girl next to her? Sure. What's the tidbit? I was saying it earlier. I was wondering if there was voice actors in the game. There, oh, there are a lot of voice actors in this game, actually. Voice acting is like... There's a lot of really good voice acting in this game. Uh, we'll probably come across a, a cutscene very soon. Alright, what's the tidbit? She looks exactly like the girl from those raids. Oh, I don't remember any of the other characters. But I like that tidbit. There's Hermes, Meteon, Tethodeus, and Emmet. Ah yes, the Ianthine Petaluda, one of the newest species of the ever-popular butterfly. Hmm? Is it bothered about your robe? Don't be. A few specimens we repurpose won't be missed. <laughs> Damn. So beautiful, Petaluda. I hope they make it into the world. All vim and vigor now. <laughs> When we were discussing his nomination, he was melancholy, melan melancholy incarnate. All right, let's see what he's got to say. This here is a new species of Petaluda we recently set loose. It has been doing very well, managing to maintain a stable existence thus far. If it can be, if it can see its observation period to the end of that issue, we shall release it unto the world. 
Tell me, do you know the difference between living beings and arcane entities? It is the presence of a soul, yet the soul is some isn't something you can choose to have at will. No, it, mani it manifests only in those beings whose forms adhere to the laws of creation that can endure on their own. I, why am I getting scared? Are you going to start implying that Medion does not have a soul? Like, I feel like that's where this is going. Like, I feel like that is, like, the route that this is going to take. Beings that do not fulfill this requirement, such as those spontaneously born of magic or natural phenomena, do not have souls. No matter how much it might resemble flora or fauna, if it lacks a soul, then it is considered an arcane entity. So you see, it is not for mankind to decide what is living. That domain lies beyond our manipulation, and it is hubris to assume otherwise. But come, let us head to the nearby beacon. I received a report that arcane entities have gathered there. Okay. Alrighty. Good night, rat. Take care. Hi, Void Mage Cesare. Cesare, that's her name. I will not remember that. <laughs> Sorry, I had to look it up. It's bugging me. No worries. Good night, rat. I don't know if I already said good night or not, but good night. Take care. Thank you for hanging out with us, friend. Greetings from Panama. Oh my god, muggles. Hello. Greetings from Canada. 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 Yamanoi. God, this place is gorgeous. Interesting. You're interesting too. Tell me, how did you find the Ambistoma? We're meant to be observing Hermes, but instead we're stuck with Meteon. Well, I suppose she herself serves as proof of his prowess as a researcher and creator both. A fascinating creation, much like yourself, little one. Renowned as Hermes is for his flying life forms. It is a rare privilege to be able to see one of his works in progress. <gasps> Lightning Sprite Fellows. <laughs> ah, yes. Lightning Numa, just as the report said. Although we call the structure a beacon due to its form, it's in fact a magical device. By mani Hello. By manipulating the balance of elements, it keeps the isle airborne and maintains the climate thereupon. In the course of its operation, it often sees an internal shift towards a given element. Right now, that element is lightning, which draws the Numa here to replenish their ether. Hmm, it appears Meteon is busy. Yeah, she's chit-chatting with Hithlidaeus. Would you care to assist me in her stead and feed the Numa? You want me to feed them? I'm supposed to feed them? Oh, and Pepper isn't even putting up a fight. She's like, yeah, sure, I'll feed the fucking lightning Numa. By using this lightning converter, you can harness ambient lightning and focus it into a bowl. A fertile feast for our dazzling friends. Go on, give it a try. Okay, use the lightning converter to create bowls of lightning. Okay. Uh, right here? Okay, okay. Nice! Glad I managed to catch a journey in Elpis. I absolutely love the entire part. Hello, Bitfrost. I'm glad you're able to catch it too. Oh, those butterflies are massive. I thought it was a normal size butterfly that creeped into the camera frame. No, they're huge. All the like, all the life forms here I've noticed are either incredibly small or incredibly big. Blah, 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 big. I only, noticed, I only know that because another streamer does cork boards and noticed it slash remembered her from Encyclopedia Eurasia. Oh, that's funny. Since I'm across the lake from you, I keep wanting to go to Lakeside Park and wave. Where's Lakeside Park? I'm excited to see what this place looks like after the graphics update. Oh my god, Raptor Cheers. I am very, very excited um, to see what Orchifont is going to look like after the graphics update. I feel like I am very biased for that, but... I just want to see my boy in H. Oh, 
in Niagara. Oh, oh, oh my God. Could you imagine we're just on opposite sides? Hello. <laughs> it's gonna be a graphics update. Yes, with the next expansion, uh, Dawn Trail, um, they're gonna be doing a graphics boost, which is very exciting if you ask me. Yes. Like this game is already beautiful. Like I know the graphics aren't like the best, but it is fucking gorgeous for an MMO, right? Like, I cannot wait to see what the game is gonna look like afterwards. I think when the graphics update happens, that's where we're, that's when we're gonna replay the game and go through Heaven's Ward all over. This city's gonna take me all the way out. You're meeting your boy in 4K on December 1st? Oh my god, true. We're gonna be meeting Orshifa in December. I'm so excited. I can't believe, I can't believe the Orshifon role player that I flirt with in game <laughs> is gonna be there. That's so fucking funny. That's so fucking funny. I see him in like so many streams of like other people that like, that like, um, that like Orshifon. It's so fucking funny. He's friends with Tiff and stuff, right? Yeah, I don't even know. I don't know who they are, but it's so cool to be able to put like a face to everyone's name. Finally. No, I mean, he's just a player. It's the same way I'm meeting Dentist. I'm meeting Kelsey. Well, Kelsey's my friend. Like we're friends, but it's like, it's just a community member, you know? It's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so fucking funny. Role play in this game is so funny. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting, to say the least. I'm very excited. I want them to to re-release tickets because I want to I want to bring Isaac with me. I want to I want to bring Isaac with me. I want y'all to to hang out. <laughs> That's true. Kelsey did wine and dine me already. That's very true. I was gonna say the graphics update in the first. Oh my god, no, we have a long way to go. I know, and I finally get to meet CJ. CJ's gonna be coming. Oh my god, everyone's gonna fucking be here. Everyone's gonna be here. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't fucking believe it. I'm so excited. I'm like, I kind of want to cry. Oh my god, can we get like full screen real quick? Like, like if I had take Sly on, a day, on that date I promised. Oh my god, like. Oh yeah, no, Waldo's definitely not coming. Um, I'm just like, I'm so excited. I'm just so excited to like meet community members, like everyone that has been a part of my journey. Not everyone, but like a lot of the people that have been a part of my journey in like making this like experience so good. like. All the people who like run around like, you know, role playing as Orshifon or the people who have like helped me grind dungeons, all of that, like. You know, just to see these people and be like, wow, thank you for making this streaming experience like so fun for me and so memorable. Do you know what I mean? Like, the people who have, like, helped me get through MSQ, the people who have, like, you know, come, like, Aman, well, no, Amanalane's not gonna be there, but, like, as an example, like, you know, the Amanalane and the Orshifon cosplayers, role players in game, like, all of these people who, who just take, who take the, the stream to another level. I just, ah! It's just, oh, the Final Fantasy 14 community is so cool. It's so fucking cool. Yeah, we'll have to do a group photo. We'll have to do a group photo. Oh, are they going to re-release tickets, Kelsey? Because I, re I really want to snag one. I really want to snag one for Isaac. <laughs> do you know? Can I, like, can I get him in somehow? <laughs> is that a thing? You know, let me know. No! Fuck, I don't know if there's any NPCs ones, but they're definitely none of the normal ones. No. Oh, that kills me. That's okay, though. That's all right. I'll just bring him to... I'll bring him to the, uh, the awful event with Vicky. 
I'll wait outside. <laughs> oh my god, you <laughs> Oh, you <laughs> No, you can't wait outside. I'll like look at you through the window like, ah! <laughs> There's a waiting list? Well, what does the NPC ticket entail? Also, hi Isaac, how long have you been in here? <laughs> Did you see, were you seeing me gush? <laughs> Restrictions. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kelsey. That's very handy. Ah, okay, back to the back to this. Back to this. Ah. It's so cool. It's just it's so cool. Like we're gonna be meeting Joker. We're gonna be meeting Davis. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Howly too, right? Wear a big poofy cosplay and have Isaac smuggled in. Oh my god, I'll just cosplay as a chocobo. And he can be the body and I'll sit on top of him. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean there's two people here? Those are clearly my legs, okay? You want me to take off my cosplay so you can see what's underneath? Um, I'm calling 911. That is assault. <laughs> You are, you cannot ask someone to do that. Man's in a trench coat. <laughs> Three Lala fell in a trench coat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Fuck, this is making me like sweat by the way. I'm not even cramping anymore. Now I'm just sweaty. The FOMO would be real but thankfully i'll be at a wedding then Ah, oh, just you wait till the photos come out ava <laughs> welcome back presently oh, rascal style. oh my god isaac how are you are you playing league right now what are you up to did you text me back you did not wow wow oh wait i didn't even oh <laughs> Yeah, I'm on League. Nice. Loser. Imagine playing League of Legends when you could be when, when you could be playing the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV with a free trial all the way up to Heaven's Ward and Stormblood to level 7 with uh, all, uh, all the way. I butchered that so bad. Howl, Joker, Goose, CJ, Dennis, Nissan. Okay, oh, yeah, Ashley. Oh, wait, wait, War Champ is going? Slay. Slay. Oh, and Nissan's wife! Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, I cannot wait. To, I cannot wait to meet her. Did is she gonna be able to cosplay as an ancient one? Pay my sub, I'll play again. Warmaku, don't tempt me. Yo, Revelation Orange Crystal Gang. Yes. What uh, what world are you on? Does the free trial include Stormblood, Stormblood already? I don't. I don't actually know. I don't know if it includes Stormblood yet. Doesn't know how she get the stilts on the plane. Oh. Okay, that's fair. Guess not then. Guess not then. Still, I can't wait to fucking meet her. Honestly? Oh. Good night, CJ. Good night, good night. Thank you for hanging out, sweet bean. I can't wait to see you. Um, I do like the idea, because, like, I know a lot of us are just, like, in-game friends kind of like we just like hang out in game but i love the idea that maybe like every year at things like KupaCon and fan fest and stuff we get to like hang out you know break that barrier and just hang for a little bit and then go back to our normal lives which i think is like really cool that's kind of like how it is with me and my cosplay friends honestly i haven't seen cj's dommy mommy in game and game for a while though or Tess. I want Tess's boobs. Gotta put Pepper's face in Tess's boobs again soon. I'm shy. This is a really big step for me. You know what? You're in great hands because we're all shy and we're all a lot. Well, I'm not that shy, but we're all a little bit awkward. So don't worry. It's going to be a lot of fun, Joker. We're going to keep the Coven Meetup Discord active and just use it if we need to plan for another event. Exactly. 
Meat, what is 3D meat space? I'm hoping she cosplays an ancient. We spoke about it when they visited a while back and I'm hyped for it. Nice. Fingers crossed. The fingies be crossed. Okay, let me talk to Hermes finally. Oh, not the sad ass fucking music. Perfectly done, Peppa. Look. <gasps> They're eating. <laughs> See how they gather to feed, how they express themselves through their actions despite the lack of words. Speech is not the sole defining characteristic of a thinking, feeling creature. No silence and indication that they do not possess these qualities. Be it a soulless arcane entity such as the Numa or an ephemeral life form such as the Petaluda, all seek to perpetuate their existence to survive. Is Meaty. Oh god. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, asking the real fucking questions. Is Meteon an arcane entity? Is Meteon a living being? Is Meteon a living being? A good question. I can answer it from a theoretical standpoint, but it ultimately falls to the Bureau of the Architect to pass judgment. Oh, I don't, I don't like this. Those with exceptional vision, such as Hyphladeus, may be able to ascertain her true nature. But to me, it doesn't matter. She is herself, and that is all I need to know. Oh. Oh, you finished already. Uh, I am sorry, I was in the way. Not to worry, my dear. They miss nothing of note, and we still have plenty of work for them to observe. Next, we will head east to the Morning Dew. I need to speak with some observers there. This way. Oh, we're gonna unlock a new area. Nice. I haven't had the look where Hermes go would go. Oh God, what did you tell them? Me <laughs> tell you? That is kind of the vibe that I got from that actually. <laughs> 3D meat space. You know that place where the grass is with people made of meat and bone and annoys us and the special persons we know and love. Oh, you mean real life? Reality. I understand. I'm understanding now. It's a goo boo! Ah, this fellow has been the talk of the bureau. The combination of a carefree aspect and endless rows of fangs is strangely charming. Was there a guide theme or any method to the madness that is the random assortment of features? <laughs> hey, be nice. It's adorable, but beware it sneeze. Hermes went flying once. Oi. Cutscene, voice cutscene, perhaps? Oh, it looks like it might be voiced. Ooh. Amazing, is it not? The Ampelos, one of our newest subjects. So, how are we coming along? Intellectuals. Okay, so her voice is more like this. Okay, my bad. I got to talk like this. <laughs> oh, this they guy's They are gorgeous. a product of Elpis, and so named for their birthplace. Okay. Cute. A happy accident, born of the hands of a former researcher who loved beautiful blossoms. Unique for how they change color, to reflect the emotional state of those nearby. Mm-hmm. That I know. 
That I know. Though be it here or elsewhere, they are seldom seen in any hue save purest white. Reflect the emotional state, you say? By what means do they achieve this? In creation, there exists an energy wholly apart from ether, one driven by emotions. Akasha. In like manner to how we manipulate ether, this flower is subject to the influence of said energy. Well, it has no will of its own. It is sensitive to the prevailing emotion in the vicinity and reacts by altering its color and vibrancy. Akasha? Akasha? It is one of the unseen energies defined by Hanish alchemical theory. Though a gross oversimplification, some describe it as an essence influenced by feeling. Ah! It's all coming together! Ah! <laughs> Akasha, though I'm not familiar with the term, your description suggests it is the self-same energy. Dynamis, we call it. Dynamis. And those entities like the Elpis flower that have the ability to interact with this energy, converting emotions into tangible phenomena, are Antelekis. That's me! That's me! An Anteleki! That you are, my dear, and no ordinary one at that, but the first, possessed of free will. Wait, a form of energy other than ether? Dynamis? I've never heard of such a thing. Hardly surprising. Dynamis cannot be seen, much less felt. And though its existence has long been theorized, we had no proof until the flower's serendipitous creation. What's more, Dynamis is far weaker than ether. Under normal circumstances, its effects are drowned out by the latter. On account of which, beings comprised of and reliant upon the ether, like you and I, are unable to make practical use of Dynamis. Tis a truly esoteric thing known to but a select few scholars. Intriguing. Then, given the limitations you described, why create Meteon? Our star, Etheris, is especially rich in ether, so much so that its name is derived from it. Ether? Theris. However, when we consider all energy in existence here and in the vast space beyond, Dynamis may account for as much as 68.3%. The more abundant form by far. Were we able to control it, we could open the door to limitless possibilities. It is not unlike a gently flowing stream unable to break through the dam of ether barring its path. But if we could imbue the stream with the vigor of a raging river... Ah, uh, not that I have such grand ambitions. Like, I'm... Like the ethereal life Nay. stream? Like <laughs> I merely wish to create a being that could traverse the great expanse. The relative scarcity of ether beyond the bounds of this star was a concern. And so, I looked to another source of energy by necessity. That being dynamis. No wonder her ether is so thin. Precisely. Yours is thin too. Like an entelechy. 
like me. So, are we the same? Intellects. Thank you for the raid, Ricky. Thank you so much for the raid, Ricky. Oh my god, you scared the fuck out of me. Holy. Hello, friends. My name is Syra. I am a Final Fantasy XIV streamer, and we are just getting deeper into Elpis, and we're learning about, well, Elpis. It's a pepper! It's pepper! How's everybody doing? Hello, hello. Thank you. I appreciate it, Ricky. I am having a great stream. All right, so am I an Enselecki? Um, so I don't see why I couldn't be one. Well, I have been known to transcend my limits without, with nothing but determination. Oh, if I'm thin, it's because Emmett Selk did not do a proper job. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay, no. We're 100% going with, if I'm thin, it's because Emmett Selk didn't do a proper job. He needs to fucking do better, he needs to Shimmer, 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 shimmer. You know? Everything is his fault. Everything. If he's, if he's gonna give me attitude, I'm gonna fucking give him attitude back. <laughs> well, aren't we ungrateful? Uh, Mayhap I should revert you to the pathetic, faded thing you look were. Look at Pepper's face! Pepper's like, wait! This is so mean! The deficits of ether alone does not an Enteleki make. It would, however, make it easier for you to interact with Dynamis. <laughs> and limited though its influence may be, this quality could prove the difference between victory and defeat. You'd do well not to underestimate it. All right. Oh dear. I'd forgotten about the poor <laughs> fellow. You must excuse me a moment while I go and verify a few more things. Damn, Emma came in with a fucking sass. She's so small. I love Pepper. I know Pepper, baby. Pepper, sweet baboo. We love Pepper in this household. We love Pepper in this household. <laughs> Call me pathetic again, please. See, that's Sire talking, not Pepper talking. Oh. Okay, we have a question mark. We have a question mark, question mark, question mark. MSQ mission coming up. I need a second chat. I'm I'm starting to cramp a little bit. Is it okay if I just go like lay on the couch for like maybe two minutes or something? Just so I can like breathe, kind of. No, I'm not gonna fall asleep. I just need to like, I just need to relax for a second. So give me, give me un, un second. I'll be, I'll be right back.
Okay. Hello. Can you leave words on stream for us? Or something if you need to take breaks in the future? Leave words on stream? What? Like, you mean stuff like like this? Like BRB? What do you what do you mean could I leave words on stream? What does that mean? Also, Nixie! Hello! Hello, Nixie, how are you? I didn't even see you. Oh, words! Oh, the word game! Oh my god! Yes, actually, I totally fucking could. I totally could. Oh, Mansion, hello! <laughs> Just leave your fanfic up! Kill Doctor, thank you for the 56 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am enjoying Elpis. It is very, very, very beautiful here. I am emotional. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's um. Let's see what Emmett has to say. First, let's talk to Hesladeus. Never before had I heard of Dynamis or Entelechies. I can only assume the Elpis flower was submitted to the bureau before I joined. The greatest contribution Emmett Selk appears to be deep in thought. Oh, is my pussy gonna burst open? I'm. Mm. Um. All right, okay. Uh, mm, uh, mm, um. Not that I or anyone else would be able to make use of it, even if we knew. But it irks me to discover that there is an entirely different form of energy, and no one told me. That personal annoyance aside, Hermes, 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 Hermes knowledge is undeniably impressive. Given that there are none among the 14 who specialize in the celestial, he would be a welcome addition. Assuming he'd be persuaded to join, that is. I still can't understand his hesitation. Um, why did you join the convocation? What do, what do you specialize in? Oh, you wish to know why Emmett Selk was chosen for the convocation? I should be glad to hear the tale. Or to share the tale. Ahem. <clears throat> It began when not another word. Oh, no, now I'm more intrigued. Lest you've forgotten, we're here, we're to learn about Hermes, not me. My misspent youth is not your concern. Oh, uh, mm. Listen, you just called me pathetic, okay? The least you could do is give me some lore. Fucker. <laughs> What now? Oh my god! I want to learn about the convocation! Hmm, if you would accompany us, I suppose you should at least know that much. The convocation of 14 is the governing body that, that determines myriad policies. Our goal is to ensure that all is right in creation, that our star may know a brighter future. As it suggests, the council is confirmed of 14 offices, each of which is held by an individual chosen for their surpassing abilities. Depending on the office, one is required to either be an authority in a certain field or possess skills that will facilitate the performance of their stipulated duties. The former category includes Mitron, specialist in aquatic life, Logriff, specialist in ter terrestrial life and, and husbandry, Halmarut, specialist in fungal and plant life, and Merololololo, specialist in medicine and healing, and La Habrea, oh, La Habrea, specialist in creation, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time, specialist in creation magics, who has brought forth phantom beings of the highest complexity. As to the latter category, there's Ultima, 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 advocate of the arts, Igoy, Igorim, 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 I remember that name as well, champion of enlightenment and rhetoric. Pashtero, Pashtero, Pashtarot, preserver of discipline and order. Emmett Sel, keeper of the ethereal realm or underworld in the vernacular. Oh. Okay, Hades. Okay, Hades. Fan Daniel, pursuer of extant, extant phenomena. And Azem, traveler of the world and counselor to the people. Mm. What? Should I be revealing such details to you? Don't be silly. Even children know this much, and you would do well to remember it all. Wow. Okay, asshole. Oh, sorry, my bad. I actually did not mean to speak to you again. Never mind. Um, eh, whoopsie. <laughs> then why did you bother me? Ugh. Honestly, I'm beginning to think you were created for the sole purpose of my trying pa of trying my patience. You're right. No, Emmett, you're actually right. I am here to pester you. To bother you. I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna just... <laughs> 
Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you again! I meant to talk to Mr. Davis! Ayah. Man. I'll tell you the tale when we're away from sensitive ears. Oh, <laughs> you gossipy little shit. <laughs> and to let you know, we're friends in thinness. Okay. To pepper him with questions? Oh, clever. My apologies for the wait. I have inspected the Ampelos to my satisfaction. All is well with the creature, and I dare say it won't be long ere it is released into the world. I mean, the Gooboos do exist. Who has bigger bratty sub behavior slash energy, Hithy or Pepper? Uh, probably Hithlidaeus. Pepper is bratty, but she's like, she's an angel. She's baby. <laughs> Another creation, however, reportedly isn't faring so well. The Cardibus. Charibidus? Charibidus. Charibidus. Charibidus nuts. That is what we shall tend to next. If you would follow me, my friends, we shall return to the main aisle and head north. What the fuck is your mount, Davis? I'm obsessed, actually. Right. We're going this way. We're zooming. Charybdis. Charybdis nuts. Caribbean nuts. <laughs> Alright, quick disclaimer chat. I am actually cramping pretty bad. I did take another Advil, but I think I'm gonna be hopping off in the next like 30-ish minutes. Um so we're not gonna we're not gonna be on too 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 long. We're gonna let's see where this quest goes. Um and then um I'm gonna hop off. Keaton is massive in it. Kelsey, I need to see this. It, do it does look spermy. It's very spermy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, these guys. Troubled observer. Oh, ah. uh, forgive me. I thought another member of the convocation had come. This is turning out to be an eventful day. A serpentine bird. Or a winged snake. There is a slight difference in the theoric balance between these cardibidupis. By this, it may be assumed that they aren't the original creations, but they're offspring. Eh, hey, they're breeding! Oh, cutscene. Cutscene. Me, 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 he, me, me, he, me, me. I understand there's a problem with one of the Caribdis. Yes, that's right. As you know, the Caribdis is based on a sea creature. Owing to adjustments to enhance its affinity to wind, it is capable of flight. The specimens created from the concept could all fly without issue, but a problem arose in subsequent generations. This third generation creature was born with an etheric balance leaning strongly towards water. Its aquatic origin reasserting itself, it would seem. The result being its affinity to wind is diminished, and it cannot fly. No matter what we try, we can't get it to rise even the slightest bit. I mean, it looks like it's levitating. For such change to manifest in so few generations, I fear they are too unstable, flawed. With your permission, I will revert the creatures and recommend to the Bureau with the con that the concept be revised. With its etheric balance leaned towards water, the Charybdis would indeed struggle to manipulate wind. Yet it is too early to conclude that it cannot fly. Having failed at first, it may simply have developed a fear. I shall transform. What? I shall transform and fly with it, helping it, helping it to manipulate wind until it finds its wings. What? You needn't go to such lengths. Ooh, Pepper's like, I want to see this. You don't know. Ugh. <sighs> but of course not. Transformation is an art in which one manipul- This man is really mansplaining me right now. Which one manipulates a vast quantity of ether to construct another body around oneself. In practice, this allows one to assume any conceivable form and thereby transcends the limits of one's flesh. 
Yet convenient though it may be, transforming in the presence of others is considered vainglorious in the extreme. As uncouth and unseemly as running about robeless. Shameful. I would like to see you run around robe. Hmm? What? 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 What's in the... What's in the... Am I to understand you make a habit of this? Nothing of the sort. It's just that when transformed, I can wield the wind and fly. It may seem excessive, but what is our shame next to the lives of these creatures? They deserve a chance, and we owe it to them to do all in our power. Be that as it may. Hmm. Yes, I believe I have a solution. Emmet Selk, may I trouble you to move that Charybdis away from its fellows? Somewhere out of sight. <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'd like the rest of you to help me prepare here. <laughs> what mischief are you scheming now? <laughs> no mischief, I assure you. I would spare you the need to report to your colleagues that Hermes committed an indiscretion. So have a little faith and run along. <laughs> I trust you don't mind. <laughs> Look at it wiggle. He go you. Okay, right, what are we fucking doing? Emmett Selk is out of sight. Good. Let's speak of the plan. It's a stroke of genius, really. We have Emmett Cell trained. You good? You good, fam? Jesus. We have Emmett Selk trained the Charybdis. What? You're gonna let that buffoon do that? Aside from being able to fly untransformed, he can readily see ether currents. And with his. Oh, that's true! He can! I remember that from Shadowbringers. And with his adept, adept, self, adept spellcraft, he can also employ suitable wind magics to guide the creature along. While he is indeed capable of all you described, it is not his duty. I am loath to trouble him with it. No, let him. Don't be. As I mentioned, it would be for his own sake. With that settled, let's begin at once. Pepper, I want. Peppa, I want you to go to Emmett Selk. Tell him that you have a favor to ask. Oh, I will tell him I have a favor to ask. He will be disinclined to cooperate at first, but you mustn't be discouraged. With our friend, the trick is to be unflaggingly persistent. Off you go now, and good luck. <laughs> With the chat mode and say, use your keyboard or the software keyboard to, en to enter any phrase containing the words I have a favor to ask to indicate to Emmett Selk that you have a request. They want me to run around on my hands and knees begging for a lick of attention from this man. I can say anything that indicates that I have a request from for Emmett. This is Look, listen. This is dangerous. I can tell him anything. Emmett Cock I have a favor to ask. Cock? God. Literally have me on my hand. Bro. Literally have me on my hands and knees begging this man to give me a crumb of attention. I love it. He is the king of brats. Now, where is this fucking giant man? All right. Somewhere over here, yeah? All right. No, God. Leave me alone. Oh, I see the bird thing. All right, okay. The bird thing, the Charybdis, the Charybdis nuts. Oh my God, leave me alone. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! All right, here we go. Okay, chat. I'm gonna test this. Can I really say anything? You think they're actually gonna let me? Hold on. Wait, I need to, I need to know. I need to know. 
Emmett Sell, can I have Kaka? Oh wait, do I have to click on him and say that? <laughs> that um, Emmett Selk, I have a favor. I need pee pee. It's not working. It's not working. I have a favor to. Do I? Can I use? Do I have to use like American favor? I have a favor to ask. I want your cock. Can I have it? It's not working, chat. I have a favor to ask of you. Give me penis. <laughs> Things you don't expect to see outside of ERP chat. <laughs> Okay, so I have to type it the American way. I have a favor to ask. Give me caca. Oh no you don't. I'm not lifting a finger. I didn't ask for you to lift a finger. I asked for you to lift your caca. Give me pee pee. Is that too much to ask for? Fucking apparently. God. So ungrateful. Ugh. I don't know why Hitler Deus is- I don't know what Hitler Deus is up to and I will not be made to know. I refuse. If Hitler Deus is to be believed, relentless insistence may serve to wear down the ever-wary Emmett Selk. Oh my god. <laughs> With the chat mode and say, use your keyboard or the software keyboard to enter any phrase containing the words, please Emmett Selk, to plead with Emmett Selk. Chat. 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 <laughs> oh, please, Daddy M itself, give me caca. All right, we got it. We got to go for it. Please, Emmett Selk. I just want caca. <laughs> Please, Emmett Selk, I just want oh. caca. No, no, no. You are not foisting this nonsense on me. But I just want pee pee. <laughs> I'm given to understand you have the power to help the Charybdis, and she'd be quite willing to do so. <laughs> And so I appeal to your better nature, most benevolent Emmett Self. Please teach her to fly. Or else Hermes will transform. Right now. <laughs> now, Gasp. now, there's no need to go quite that far. Altruism is its own reward, as I'm sure he would agree. Oh, would he now? And who contrived to put me in this position, pray tell? <laughs> Nothing so devious. I merely suggested a possible course of action. <laughs> Pepper, oh my god. She's like, come on! Please, Emmett Selk. Please. Oh, how could you say no to that little face? <laughs> all this way to play nursemaid to your creations. I thank you to remember this favor and let it be the last. It once it has taken to the air, it falls to you to shepherd it skyward. Well, look at him being let's so helpful. Relax and enjoy the spectacle. <laughs> mm. So, where can I get an Emmett Selk mount? Like, 
an ancient one-sized version of him. Oh, the sweet music. You were wondering why Emmett Selk joined the convocation. Oh, am I gonna cry? Truth be told, he wasn't the first choice for the office. I was. On the strength of my ability to see Ether. But I declined the offer. For though my vision is exceptional, I am pedestrian in all other aspects. Worse even. Quite abysmal when it comes to manipulating Ether, for example. Couldn't transform even if I had a mind to do so. What good is the ability to perceive a problem if one cannot act to address it? Emmett Selk has no such shortcomings. He excels in vision and manipulation both, the latter to an extraordinary degree. If there is a mage more powerful, I do not know of them. Thus did I recommend him for the office in my stead. And I wasn't the only one. Far from it. Countless Damn. others got his skill and character. People the world over. To whom he had previously lent a helping hand. So he's a good boy. <laughs> oh, how surprised he was. Claimed he hadn't done anything remarkable for anyone. Modest to a fault. He deserved every bit of acclaim he received. Yet he may well have gone unappreciated were it not for a mutual friend. A singular soul who can't help but involve herself in the business of others. Where she walks, excitement is certain to follow. Her antics irritate Emmett Selk to no end. But much of his grumbling stems from genuine concern. Oh. Oh. When our friend calls, he never fails to answer and lend his talents. Goals. Give me some of that. Oh, he's flying! And in the course of doing so, he himself came to be recognized and respected by those around him. <sighs> they are truly remarkable individuals, and I'm proud to call them friends. To help them realize their dreams. This will be my greatest contribution to our world. Aww. And when they have fulfilled their respective purposes, so too shall I have fulfilled mine. And together we may return to the star. Look at me, spilling my innermost secrets. I can't seem to help it with you. I can only assume it is due to the color of your soul. I just don't understand how you can be so alike and yet so different. <laughs> well done, my pet. Well done! <laughs> Yay! They did the thing! Ah, yes. I dare say the Charybdis will be fine here on. Oh my god, my slippers. <laughs> Why don't you go and signal to Emmett Selk? Let him know that his arduous task is at an end. I'll get his attention, I guess, if I must. <laughs> Julio, hello. Good night, gunning, gunning Rage. Take care, thank you for hanging. Ah, all right. If I didn't know better, I'd say Emmett Selk is enjoying himself. Not that he'd ever deign to admit it. Okay, let's speak with Meteon. Look, Peppa, look how well the Charybdis flies. It's flying. It's really flying as if it were born to do so. Thank goodness. All right, now I gotta, now I gotta, now I gotta wave at this, this fucking idiot. Oh, I almost typed that in chat. <laughs> All right. Hey, yo! Grumpy! Sup? Hello! Emerging from his reverie, Emmett Selk notices you and begins to descend with the Charybdis.
I have no words to express my gratitude. Thanks to you, the Charybdis has learned to fly. And Peppa and I could relax and have a pleasant chat. I'm sure you did. The creature needed some small assistance at first, but soon it was flying more or less on its own. I doubt you'll need to repeat the lesson. That was truly impressive. I witnessed it all from afar. The cryptus flies. Indeed, with this we've proven that even a creature with skewed etheric balance is capable of flight. Though we helped it to achieve this, the cryptus is a herd animal. They may well aid the struggling kin in like fashion if and when the need arises. Keeping this in mind, I bid you continue observing them. If that is what you want. <laughs> but if I may say so, rather than hoping an idealistic possibility comes to pass, would it not be simpler to have the concept adjusted? That way, we could guarantee that anomalies such as the specimen are never born in the first place. That seems kind of dramatic. Yeah, these creatures are already here. We will spend no effort in giving them a chance to survive. As you wish, Chief. As you wish. That was fucking grim. I like how it wriggles. <laughs> Hermes. I'm fine. Don't worry. Well, that concludes all of my present tasks. Let us return to Anagnorus Renunus for now. I forgot to pronounce it. Anagnorus. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my fucking best. Speak with Emmett Selk again? Oh my god, all right! Ad anagnorisis. Anag anagnorisis. Anagnor. Ignore my sis. All right. All right, there they are. Oh, they look so grumpy. Oh, all the creations are happy. That makes me happy too. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. At the end, most of all. Now you've seen what I do. Was it everything you were expecting? You know, I thought Hithlodeus' hair would be more purple. But their eyes are very purple. What's up, Grumpy? <laughs> Look the height difference I'm gonna be! What? Want to apologize for forcing me to help, do you? Save your breath. You didn't force me to do anything. I merely chose the most expeditious way to have done with an impediment to our business what a little rat what a fucking rat this man is actual rat man in the right light you can see his white roots bro out here choosing to be a pastel king oh slay slay i know the way hith went we all know he's a rat man, and I'm for it. Okay, what is this on ether to ether? Something seems to be weighing on Hermes' mind. Okay. Fuck. I... Oh, hello. This is where, unfortunately, we're gonna end the stream. I wanna keep going, but, like... I'm cramping, guys. I'm cramping. We gotta end it here. This is... It's nappy time for me. I wish we could keep going. We're only three hours into the stream, but... I will be back tomorrow. I will be back tomorrow to play more FF14. So do not worry. Maybe tomorrow the cry counter will go up. Maybe tomorrow we'll hit the sub goal. Who freaking knows? I had a lot of freaking fun. I know the MSQ isn't going anywhere. Oh, thank you. Everybody give me head pass. Thank you for the head pass. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. MSQ isn't going anywhere and neither am I. So we will return tomorrow for more msq shenanigans i'm very excited the the story so far has been i'm scared 
like honestly just like i'm scared i just truly i'm just truly scared i have a very bad feeling about medion i have a very very bad feeling about medion i don't like where this is going but that honestly excites me even more <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have to make the most, make the next handful of MSQs Juicy Media. Yeah, well, don't worry. Um, this week was a bit of an off week for me. I mean, when I got my period and then, you know, uh, next week we're gonna tackle MSQ a ton. Um, so don't worry. We are gonna get that shit out the fucking wazoo. All right, we're gonna go raid Vicky. She is doing, she's farming, uh, the Ruby weapon with viewers. So this is not... Oh, but it's the extreme. Oh, slay. Pop off, queen. But anyway, yeah. So we're going to go say hi to Vicky. Let's give her some love. Let's spam her with some, some modis and what not. All right. I will see you all tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget to join the Discord server and follow me on social media. That we see updates on all my shit. Thanks for being notified for when I get a, for, for when I go live. All right. All right, friends. I bid thee farewell. <laughs>